party people. We are back from our DDO. You'll notice that I like Mango Peach. And uh, that's it. That's that's the intro. No explanation. You don't get to know what happened. Nah, I kid. All right. So there's a new person here. Say hi, new person. Hi. I'm new and I'm a person. There you go. See? New person. God, jeez. Uh -huh. You look so short. Like, I know. <laughs> you're, like I know. you're like half my size. <laughs> I didn't even I like... Know, you're an orc or something. I mean, I knew you were shorter than me, but I didn't realize it was that much. Yeah, I don't like it, but whatever. I feel overpowered. Even though I totally am. Over what? Overpowered. Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, just from height. Anywho, um, not to go too much into it because it's a lot of personal things and that stuff that probably shouldn't show up here. I don't super care, but on behalf of other people that may or may not, I'm just not going to just to be on the safety side. But basically, um, there's some stuff going on and uh, me and Rachel aren't able to play together at the moment due to things. Um, I'm sure they'll be resolved in time. You know, you guys don't have to worry your pretty little heads. Don't sweat it too much. Just, you know, real life stuff happens. You can't play video games all day, every day. Uh, it's unfortunate, but, you know, shit happens. So, in the meantime, we have... Say her name. I'm Aaron. There you go. We've got Aaron with us. So, she is just starting out the game and has... Like, no idea what's going on, basically. Yeah, I'm trash. Yeah. But it's okay. I might not be trash forever, but for now, I'd, uh, yeah. Maybe. Maybe not. Here, I'll, I'll be off the horse. That way it's not too much for you. Thanks. So, you'll notice that I am exactly the same level as when we last kept, uh, last left off. I have not played the game since then. Um... If you pay super close attention, you'll notice my experience bar is ever so slightly ahead. I logged on a few times to take a look at this or take a look at that. So I got a few daily dice. Ooh, whoop de doo But yeah, it's 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 no different. Um, Aaron is level one. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In case you're uh, curious, Elven Cleric, uh, we're going to be going um, Sun Domain, Divine Disciple, Radiant Servant. Not too much to it. First lifer, 28 point build, no tomes for all of you veteran players that are curious. But otherwise, it's just going to be pretty simple and straightforward. Buffs, sun lasers, and heals. In case you're wondering, no, I did not make her play a cleric. <laughs> Literally just so I could have a healer. I was not the reason. Not at all, no. It's really not. It's really just a very uh, new player friendly build. I find. Yeah. Yeah, I hate wizards, guys. They're, like, not my favorite thing. They're literally her favorite thing. But she liked, um, blasting. You can pick up pick up the quest, and we'll go do stuff. Uh, she likes blasting and all, so that's why I went with the Sun Domain one. Doesn't have to deal with, um, uh, Arcane Supremacy from Archmage, or worry about certain monsters being immune to or healing from negative damage from Pale Master, which is what she was mostly going with. And it's not like it's bad. Like, obviously that character would still be able to blow shit up, but Coming from deep with light crypt, spells, you it doesn't really matter, because who the fuck resists the light damage in this game? Of. You can come in the quest. Yeah, there you are. Sorry, I didn't know if there was anything like... At you. Anything what? Oh, um, I didn't hear, or, I don't know, I'm being stupid. Give it one sec. Okay, I didn't know if I needed to, like, hit anything that would allow me to play with you. Like, I didn't know if there was a button that was like, oh, this Strange. is private. Or, like, you could go as a group. No, since, since, we're in a, since we are in a party, whenever we run into the dungeon, we're just automatically in the same instance of it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sneaking well, around. Ooh, you can't find me. Where'd I go? Oh, super sneak. 
Oh, that took way too many tries to break that shit. Fine. Bro, I literally stood on top of it and tried to hit it. Like, I don't want to fucking hit it. Yeah, I did the same thing. I couldn't hit it from There's the top either. The mm, my acute senses make me feel like danger's nearby. I wonder where it is. Acid sprays out of the wall as the I said I wonder shot. where it is. Well, I wanted to find it. Don't go stand where it's if spraying. If that thing kills you, you that's your fault. It. But here's the thing, whenever I was playing this beforehand, I figured if you just activate it before you go out, it only activates one time per meter, I guess. Oh, that's super not true. It'll definitely do it more than once. It's just, like, strangely inconsistent. Hey, can you get the gate? I'd really sick if you did. And I want to get the trap. Oh, but my, okay. my dude is having an aneurysm for some reason. I saw that. All right, there we go. He really did. <laughs> oh shit, that's right. I have boots that make me run faster. Alright, so okay. here's the thing. Um, you're gonna actually play the quest, and then I'm going to be here to hit them if you're like about to die or something, because I'm okay. level 5 and they're not gonna kill me. So you have fun right. practicing. Okay, thanks. I am absolute trash, so it's just actually kind of funny to see the amount of trash. <laughs> I'm also still learning all my spells and stuff because I have no idea. So, the general idea is you want to hit it with your stronger ones over your weaker ones, right? So your Nimbus of Light spell-like ability, the one uh -huh. that you can throw Maximize on for free, that's always the one you want to kind of go to since obviously it does the most damage since you can power boost it. Right. Now, keep in mind, you are level 1, so your spells aren't going to do a lot of damage. Uh, spellcasters in general at first level just don't do a lot, so don't feel dissuaded from the fact that you're not going to one-shot them. You're a not really supposed to. In this passage. There may be something of use inside. You want... I don't know. Right? Hmm? Being cast, right? Oh, by the way, here, try uh, stepping away from him. And, and now throw your Nimbus of Light at him. Holy crap, I'm so far. Hang on. See? You, oh, wow. Yeah, it literally shoots the ray out, so you don't have to be right next to them to throw spells. That's actually amazing. So it auto-targets for you. It's more like you okay. just have range. Huh. If you want to hit him, make sure you either have him on your auto-target or you hard target him. You can hard target him by either right clicking on him uh -huh. or hitting tab to cycle through aggressive targets. If there's yeah. only one, obviously it'll just go to the only one there. That way you don't shoot your spells what into the ground or something. Up to? Gotcha. This bears more investigation. Don't worry about that, Jess. Trust me, you don't uh, want to pick up what's in there. No, I really don't. Even the last time I did this, I totally did. Okay. You continue to hear cultists about their evil work from further inside the crypt. Oh yeah, you probably don't want to hit the skeleton with inflict wounds, since inflict wounds deals negative damage, and undead oh. are negative oh. creatures, so you'll actually heal yeah. them. Yeah, I saw that. Which why? Okay, this is just gonna take a little bit to get used to. I see you got him. <laughs> Yeah, after missing like three times. Well, just don't miss three times. Eh? Didn't okay. think about that, did you? Uh, you know what? I'm cured of my illness of stupidity. Thank you. You're welcome. Sick. See, you yeah. did it. Mmm, crest. Yeah, man. Also, like, this game was totally not lagging out when there was, like, no one in the server. It's, like, lagging a little bit now. But it's not, like, unplayable, thankfully. Was it ever doing that a ton before? Uh, no, but... Oh god, I shot it at the ceiling. Okay. 
that's why we target enemies. That way we actually hit them with spells and not... not. Well, I mean, I did try to target, but I think I, I was too far away. I wonder if I can even actively block if he hits me from behind. I've actually never tried that. Oh yeah, you're running out of mana because you can only do that so many times. Oh, so that's why it's taking so long. Hmm? No, you still have enough mana for it. Yeah, I just wonder how um, I get mana back. Oh, so you have to rest. That moon shrine oh. thing? Yeah, you, you, uh, you rest with that, and then it gives you all your mana back. Uh -huh. I got you. Thanks. <laughs> Alright, so you see that guy? See how he's all uh, far away and stuff? Yeah. Alright, so he's... That, that guy's weird. Normally you'd be able to target him. But you can't because this game is weird and it look just some quests are weird. Normally you'd be able to target him. Since you can't, you're gonna try something else. I want you to try to free aim at him. So wherever you're looking, if you don't have a target, your spell will shoot where you're looking. So into the ground or into the ceiling or whatever. So try looking right at him. Okay. And All then right. fire it. There you go. See, you got him. I got him, but I only had to do the forbidden thing, so... The forbidden thing? Yeah, I literally went, oh, why am I running? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I am so sorry. Like, I literally started running because I forgot about that button on my mouse. Oops. I'm going to do it again. Um, okay, but yeah, I have see, the first person. And see, now you can target him. Oh, because I got his attention. Normally you can target even if not. This guy's just weird. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna one-shot this dude for me, please, so I don't waste my magic wand. Oh, Your wand thanks. that um, comes back. It's not uh. limited. That's an eternal wand. So if you oh, ever nice. run out of charges, if you just don't use it for a while, Magical it'll it'll give you them back. Or every time you rest, it'll give them back. Performs unholy rituals at a devourer altar. This barrier appears linked to three sneaking, sockets in the wall. Sneaking unnecessarily. To those sockets, Bonk. It may allow Bonk. Passage. Hey, die. There you go. As you slay these foul cultists, take care to keep your own health up. Yeah, make sure you're not killing yourself, Nix. I'm good. I know that this quest is super hard. I got for you. 146 more hit points than I need. Another crest drops out as you smash the altar. There might still be other. You don't have a lot of mana. I'll take care of the rest. Thanks, I appreciate it. There's not much that I can do without mana, so. Well, I'll let you rest before the um, the boss fight, so that you can do stuff with that one. Thanks. A treasure chest glimmers in the oh. dark passage here. What? Don't roll a one. Die. Stupid enemy. There's a song. Did you roll? Performing some kind of ritual. I can roll. Can I not? I mean, you probably could, but you're not really gonna roll. So, hold shift to block and then hit a movement key in the direction you want to roll if you're using mouse look mode. If you're not, you can only do it forward and backwards. Uh -huh. Yeah, except you don't have the tumble skill, so you don't roll, you do that. Like that. Yeah, yeah whatever that is. <laughs> but heal and spellcraft are probably a little bit more important, so... Yeah, that's true. But I'm playing a character that gets a ton of skill points, so I could kind of mm -hmm. throw a lot of them wherever I wanted. Some characters get more or less than others. It just depends. Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, don't go in there. And the magic shield dissipates. The go in here. Inside, spits out in a now you can get your mana back. Oh, well, These shit. They're already pissed at us for some reason. Alright. Well. Consumed by the devourer. 
Alright. Hey, stop lagging. Alright, go get him. Yo, they're literally gonna break the altar themselves. Bro, I didn't even attack it. They just broke it trying to hit me. What losers. That's honestly fantastic. Yeah, so I have no mana, but I mean, like, let's get it, you know? Well, that's why I was trying to let you rest first. You didn't have to come before. You could finish the rest. Oh, man. Yeah. Well, I didn't start it. Oh, well, it, it, it doesn't matter now. We'll just go to the next one. And brought the, Sahuagans uh, fell the next one? Yeah, the next quest. You can come back. Chest in the yeah, okay. Is now yours. Mmm, chest. Yeah, man. It gives us all the same stuff, right? Or is it just like one chest with a bunch of stuff and you have to share it with people? So all the loot is instanced. Everybody gets their own copy of loot from the chest, and it's mm -hmm. random for each person. Like, we don't get the same drops, right? Whatever I get, whatever you get, totally random. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I know that you explained this to me the other day, plus you explained it in a video, but I kind of forgot how to get out of here. Top right like corner, there okay. should be a button that says finish. finish. Okay, and thank this, you. Yeah, there you go. I think, did I do that? So you hit finish, then you hit yes, and then you gotta wait for the progress bar at the top to go. Yeah, there you go. Woo. Now you can turn in the quest. Right. So you just talk to the same lady you got it from. Mm -hmm. And do the thing. Okay. Which one would you recommend? Uh, I guess the Amulet of Inner Focus. It doesn't really matter though. I mean, yeah, because everything else is kind of, like, cursed, so... Cursed? No, it says the curse of something-something. What? What she said? No, like, her offerings. Like, the two things that she offered. Like, one of them had, like... Oh, cursing. yeah, the Amulet of the Brute um, has two curses on it, so it raises one of your stats but lowers two of your others. So, <laughs> yeah, it's kind of bleh. I guess, usually. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Alright, next up is this guy. Okay. Uh, yes. Neither item is really good, and you're gonna replace it the moment you get, like, basically anything, so... <laughs> it's not mm -hmm. a big deal. Mm -hmm. Alright, once you grab that quest, come over Wait. to the door. Let's go! Now. Um... Mm -hmm. We're going to be playing on this thing called Higher Difficulties, by the way, because fuck playing on normal and hard. You think I am bad at this game? <sighs> no offense to people that play on normal or hard, I don't actually care. But like, I'm not, so. Right, go get him, tiger, or, you know, lion, puma, panther, whatever big cat you prefer, really. Yeah, yeah, something something that kills spiders. Did I just heal that spider on accident? Mm, no, you can't heal enemies. Um, if I get the dice cooldown and I get fresh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mmm, destruction. I don't abide by your laws. Mm -mm. No, we're thieves. Well, I am. Mm. Wow. Oh, okay. That guy I did not mean to hit. I meant to hit the rat, but not the spider. That's fun. I didn't even see him, so. I meant to do this that. Appears to be the main okay. <laughs> okay, Spider. I need to kill you. I love all the interesting sounds that this game has. 
Yeah, it's pretty cool. It really is. It's really detailed. Hey, look. It's the silver key. Oh, did you looky there? Well, let me just freaking shoot it first a couple times before I actually figure out how to pick it up. Remember, you can press E to interact with whatever object is in your focus orb. Mm -hmm. There, that'll give you a head start on him. Oh. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. Owie. Don't worry, I'll hit him if you're about to die. Hey, you got it. Yeah. Now you can heal yourself up. See? You're doing it. Yeah, yeah, I did the thing. None of this stuff looks healthy. It's... it's not. <laughs> the dude came out of this hidey hole. Oh, okay. Yeah, so probably not healthy, especially if he's just been in there this whole time. Yeah, he's been hiding out. It's super weird and creepy. Actually, he worships okay. this evil god called the Devourer, and it's... yeah. Bad guy. Which is on, man. It's like, uh... It's like in, uh, in Venom, where Venom's like, bad guy, right? Like, yeah, bad guy. Right. That rat is coming straight for you. I feel like you're in so much danger. I'm pretty sure he couldn't kill me if he tried, unless I, like, <laughs> AFK'd for an hour straight and let him. <laughs> you, on the other hand, he might. I know, I just healed him. Because <laughs> I forgot. No, he's undead. Your healing spells do damage to undead. Oh, then take this. Oh, well, here's the thing. Uh, so this is actually a little bit of a teaching moment for you. Never, ever try to kill undead with healing spells. Trust me, it doesn't work as good as you think it would. I mean, okay. I get le lesson learned. The reason for that? Because you might say, oh, well, if I'm a really good healer, well, then I can heal the undead to death, right? Because, un right. because instead of being... Oh, you gotta open the door since you got the key, by the way. Because most creatures heal from positive energy, which is what your cure spells do. Technically, your cure spells don't heal people. They deal positive damage. But undead are, well undead, right? They're not actually alive, but they're not really entirely dead, right? So because of the nature of their semi-non-existence... Well, undead are weird. They really do them. They're um. basically quote-unquote alive, but in a negative way, not in a positive way. And I don't mean like a good and evil sort of thing. I mean in the sense of energies, how you might have fire and ice that are like opposite elements. In the same way, you have positive and negative that are also just elements. They're energies of the universe in all the same ways. And as such, well, most creatures heal from positive because they're normal living beings, undead aren't alive, they're dead, so it's flip-flopped for them. So they take damage from positive damage, or positive healing, and they heal from negative damage, which for them is more like negative healing. You technically don't heal people. You deal positive energy damage. Most people just happen to heal from it because they're aligned with positivity. By yeah. being alive, undead are well, alive despite, they're quote-unquote alive despite being dead. So theirs is reversed. However, it doesn't function very well. This one's actually so close, you can just walk out the front door. However, doing that doesn't function very well because enemy health scales a lot higher than player health. And so your healing spells are designed to heal based on what player hit points are like but enemy hit points go way higher than player hit points do so even though you can deal damage with them it just 
doesn't work that way because your spells just don't scale in a way that is intended for that to really be a practical means of combat. I mean, if you're playing on, like, normal difficulty or something, yeah, you probably actually could. You are literally hiding in the plant. <laughs> you just Homer... Um, you can literally just Homer Simpson your way and you just walk backwards. Yeah, literally just a bit slower. <laughs> like, way slower. There's probably a way you could get yourself to, uh run slow or on purpose if you really wanted to just to make it all right so baldar the bold here has the next one s oh thank you Here, you have typed s <laughs> it was important okay i really felt like that needed to be said and i got what was all you know you got, got, what got was your point across out. yeah i did you know all right my you, daily speech you got the quest yeah all right over Sorry, here. sometimes it takes me a second to read. No, it's fine. Like... If you ever want to, like, sit down and read all the dialogue, like, literally just say so. I don't care. I got you. In fact, I'm pretty sure the first uh, time I the brought same. Rachel through the game, I told her the same mm -hmm. thing. Like, if you just want to literally sit there and read everything, it doesn't bother me. Because whenever I play a quest for the first time, I like oh. to sit there and read everything. But once I know what yeah. the story is, I don't need to read the whole thing every time. So once I know it, I'm good, but if I don't know it, I also like to know what's going on, because the writing in this game is actually really good. I bet it is. I feel like it's... I don't know. I wish I had... Well, I almost said I wish I had the time to read it all, but now that I do, I, I just might. Just might. I just might. Okay, so this one, I'm actually not gonna just kind of let you... Um, practice on enemies because they will try to rush this crystal and break it and this is actually a mission that there is a failure condition that isn't just lol you died forehead if they break the crystal we fail the mission so i'm actually going to fight literally just because if i don't we might actually lose and it's not one where i can let you take your time just because of the uh nature of the quest but this is the only one for a good while or something like this would happen mm -hmm. so don't worry about it i'm not trying to steal your show i'm just no, you don't know worry, like <laughs> just I... trying not to actually lose yeah i mean it's really hard whenever you're like one hit killing everybody you're literally smacking them like a fly swatter like i love it <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. That's actually really funny. Because it's literally just a giant stick. That's it. it really That's all is. this is. Just a. Listen. Listen. Thief a acrobat giant. rogue is the physical embodiment of the phrase speak softly and carry a big stick. Um, Especially I mean, when really... you're a half fork, so you're just this massive dude. I mean, yes, you are quite massive and you are a dude, so let's. I'll go with that. These I'll are disagree. factual statements. Yeah, you can't disagree with something that's literally true and looking you right in the face, huh? I dare you to fly swat me. Do it. Do it. I actually literally want to see you kill me in just like one shot. It's kind of like. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible a idea. Oh, so funny it's thing. So, there. Where are you going? I don't know. I want to look at the thing, but it was actually just. Oh, the crystal? Yeah, it's it's yeah. just a floaty crystal boy. If you've ever played a yeah. Final Fantasy game, it it's a crystal. Yeah. It's a crystal. Oh my god, that just unlocked so many memories. So I never played them, obviously, in chronological order. I think I had like oh, 13 neither have part I. 2, and that's where I started. I, th I think two. it was... That is a, yeah. a weird place to start, 13-2. I know, it was the one where you play mainly as Sarah. Sarah. Uh, However the hell you speak. I, wait, don't leave yet? Okay, so, cool thing I about think... this mission. You noticed how I ran over here at the very end? Yeah. And killed yeah. the guy right as he spawned in? So, uh -huh. this mission, if you play it enough, you can actually learn the final guy always spawns in the same spot. I've never paid oh. enough attention to know if all of the spawns are in the same spot. I don't think they are but the last one for whatever reason is always over here so once if you pay attention to the quest objective tracker in the top right well it defaults to top right you can actually drag it wherever you want but if you pay attention to it you'll see that 
right now it says defeat all the cultists, but while they were alive, it started at 15 and ticked down each time we killed one, because there were only 15, and that was the mission to stop all 15 of them. So once the tracker goes down to one, you know that that's the last one, and, well, I know where he spawns. So it's just a neat little thing. So, like, if you're ever trying to do some weird funky speed run... It's just mm -hmm. cool. Like, it, it doesn't game change anything. It's just one of those, oh, that's neat sort of things. Okay, so this There's mission, no. uh, for the quest reward, I'm actually going to straight up tell you take Spearbane. Okay. It's one of the few rewards in Korthos Island that I actually think is just objectively actually really good. And that's because a lot of low-level enemies deal piercing damage. So mm -hmm. reducing piercing damage by a flat value when they deal a low amount of largely piercing damage is actually surprisingly effective. This is one of the few times where something like this happens and is valuable, but that's no reason not to take advantage of it when it does. And if you remember, you don't have to drag the items on, you can just double click them to equip them. Yes, this is true. I have to equip things. Yeah, I yeah. keep thinking that they just kind of are on. Go on, yeah. Um, by the way, don't feel like you have to equip every item you get. Just because you get an item doesn't mean it's either better than what you have, or is good in the first place, or give, or even if it's a good item, it might not be good for your character, right? Because different characters yeah. use different things. So like, I fight with weapons, so getting something that makes healing spells stronger is fucking worthless to me, right? But hey. I'm a trapper. I am a rogue, which is one of two classes that can do traps. So if I get an item that increases my disabled device skill, the skill that lets me disable devices, like traps, that's really good. You're a cleric, though. Clerics can't do traps. Only rogues and artificers can. So that kind of item is worthless to you. So even though both trapping items and healing items are good, they're not good on the same character, right? So you always right. want to pay attention to the kinds of things your character does and get items that make you better at those things. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? You cast spells for damage and for healing, and eventually for one or two other things as well, but right now for damage and healing. The damage you deal with your yeah. spells is light. I mean, that, yeah. yeah, right? It's So for damage, you use light and negative right now, mostly light, and for healing, you use positive energy. Mm -hmm. So you want to find any items that raise your spell power of light, positive, and negative. Any items that give you more spell points, i.e. mana, all right? Technically, this game calls them spell points, Honestly, I just call it mana most of the time, because that's what it is, let's be honest. So, yeah. if you find an item that says you get more mana, that means you can cast more spells, because you have more mana to cast them with. So, right. you can find items that make your spells stronger, you can find items that let you cast them more often, because you have more mana with to cast them with, right? Mm -hmm. Because wisdom is your casting stat as a cleric, any item that gives you wisdom is good, for example. Yeah. Right? So that's just like a kind of short version. Now, obviously, there's a lot of other things that will be useful to you. Like, a lot of general defensive items are good on, like, every character. Like, you get more hit points the more constitution you have. So an item that gives you constitution is good on literally everyone, because everybody wants to not die, right? Everyone might have right. a different way of killing the monsters, but everyone wants to not die in the same way. More hit points, more good. Among other things, obviously. So any item that raises your defensive stats will usually be good. Not always, but for the most part. But not every item that raises your offensive or utility abilities is good. But defensive are almost always good, because everybody wants to not die. All right, so next one. Yeah, yeah, let's see if I can actually figure out how to stand up. Uh, just move. Yeah, there you go. It was lagging. Oh. I was trying to move, but it just, it just wasn't. There, there. Okay, yeah, let's go hang out at this place for just a second, and I came totally unprepared, so I'm gonna go grab my coffee that I forgot about. Whoops. 
Oh no, now what? I have to entertain my viewers all on my lonesome. Uh... Oh no! <laughs> eh, it's not like you have, you know, done this a few times. I think you've got this. I've literally never done this. Well, have fun, champ. Well, I guess I'll just take this opportunity to explain another thing or two. Um, I would use an alt to play with her. Um, chat? I'm just going to call you guys chat. But here's the thing. Uh, I hate alts. <laughs> and I hate them because <coughs> I'm dying. And also because I'm not a VIP. So I, uh, I, I can't. I can't open Elite and Reaper. If I was a VIP, I wouldn't care, and I'd actually probably be using an alt for this, but I'm not mm -hmm. a VIP, so... Uh, I'm using my main. And also because, honestly, I like my main. He's cool, and I just want to play him, because I like him. He's my favorite. That's why I play him, and I don't have anyone else. Welcome back, sweetheart. I was gone for about three seconds. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. No, it was. It's a. I. Uh, I like the monster coffee things. The mean bean is the one that I have now. It's really yummy. Now, I don't drink monster or coffee or beans. I don't know why I would drink beans. That's weird. So I've literally no idea what you're talking about. Where did you go? In the quest. So talk to the bartender. <laughs> This must be the collaborator stepping in from the. Oh, door. okay. I oh, got it. I got it. Yeah, if I'm ever standing in front of someone and then I disappear, chances are I win in the quest. Got it. Hey, you remember this guy? There we go. That guy. Look at this guy. Also, I noticed that you grabbed the rugged belt. Good choice. You picked a good quest uh, quest reward. More hit points. Always good, because hit points mean you don't die when you take damage for a little bit longer. And dying sucks, because then you can't play the yeah. game, because you're dead. So... Hey, you remember that one time whenever I told you that I, that I never used my spells because... Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you don't understand how many times I died because every time I tried to hit somebody with a stick as a wizard, it missed, so... <laughs> yeah, you might notice that I am also using a big stick, but the difference is, is uh, I'm kind of trained in hitting people in the back of the head with a big stick. Uh, your character yeah. wasn't. Yeah. Anywho, do you recognize this guy? Uh, I, I mean, should I be embarrassed if I say no? No, it's fine. We kind of sort of zipped past him super fast. So, in the quest where we went into the crypt, the first one we did... Okay, it was the dude standing in front of the gates. Yeah, he was the groundskeeper. He let us in. If you oh, remember sweet. the way he talked, well, talk to him now, why don't you? He was kind of... Yeah, he was like, I don't know why anybody would want to do that. I'm gonna still be nice. Um, I guess we're gonna kill him now. Nah, he ran away like a punk bitch. Yeah. Bonk. Bonk. Alright, you handle that one. Oh. Um, no, you gotta look at him. <laughs> okay, well, you said that I could just right click and then bang him. Well, no, so, yeah, if you've got him targeted, that's a part of it, but if you're looking in the opposite direction, well, I mean, you can't shoot lasers out of your ass, so... I mean, I could. You well, have no idea. You know, you're right. I don't know, except I've played this game for years and I totally know you can't. It would be really... I don't want to say cool. Useful? It'd be weird if you could. I'll say that. No shit. <laughs> Anyways. That would be my weird secret talent. Don't feel like you have to um, heal yourself every time you take a point of damage. Unless you're gonna die, you're probably fine. Because then if you kill the enemy sooner, then they do less overall damage to you because they're alive for a shorter amount of time to hurt you with. So, unless you need to heal yourself to not die, normally it's better to just kill the enemy faster. 
not always, yeah. but as a I, general yeah. rule. That's true. Yeah. Don't be discouraged, by the way. I know I mentioned this earlier, but I want to reiterate. If it feels like you're not super effective, keep in mind we're not playing on normal difficulty or anything like you were before. We're on elite, so the mission is now considered level three instead of one. Here, you're running low on mana, so I'll just. Thanks. Yeah, I kind of. Yeah. Hey, look at this. But you hear more of them. Look over here. What's that? Uh, a tiny chest. You know, it's a, a tiny chest. Behind the bar. Hmm. I got stuff. Yep. A bunch of Woo. stuff you can't use. Go you. Fantastic. It's not like I'd know how to use any of it anyway <laughs> until, well, you explain it. That's true. You probably wouldn't. <laughs> also, like, half the reason why I grabbed this coffee is because I knew that there was going to be a lot of explanation and after work today, like, I'm just so tired. Like, my brain was like, please. Oh, sorry. It's cool. I like learning things. My brain just needs a little extra, you know, kick in the face. I understand. Oh, well, mm -hmm. shit. I forgot I had a ring of true sight on, so I just automatically found the door. Hey, uh, find the door. Would you look at that? You are so good, you found the secret door. Much smart. <laughs> Big brain. I'm gonna open the chest now. Oh, okay. okay. Still nothing. Oh, okay. hey, look at that. You got a necklace that you should I actually... That you can't mm -hmm. equip right now since it's a level 3 necklace. But well... once you're level 3, you can, and it's actually good because it gives you devotion, which you'll notice gives you positive spell power for your healing spells. Very useful. Mm. So I, yeah, so, uh, so I would hold on to that instead of okay. selling it. Basically, if you don't use it or plan on using it, I'd probably just sell it. But since that's an item that's good for you, you're just not a high enough level yet, you can hold on to it for later and equip it once you're a higher level. Mm -hmm. So I got a tower... Hang on. Tower, tower shield. shield of fire? I don't, do I need that? I mean, you can't use tower shields. You can use um, you can use normal shields, but not tower shields. Don't forget, uh, you don't have to click on things. If you have them uh, targeted, you can press E to interact, which is usually easier. And yeah. not only can you use tab to cycle through hostile targets, but you can also use Q to cycle through non-hostile targets like doors and chests and stuff. Oh yeah, you have no mana, Bonk. Thanks. I'll have to remember that E thing. Hmm, more chest. This quest is really good if you actually don't have um, a lot of stuff, because you can like, if you're super new to the game and you don't have access to anything or anyone else, this is a good strat to get a bunch of gear, since... I mean, obviously it's still random, but there's so many chests in this one quest. Like, if you just run it a couple times, you're bound to get something. That's Anyways, fair. you might want to rest so you have mana for the final fight. Oh, yeah. Did. You've done it. Mm -hmm. So I take it the only thing you do with like those weird crystal thingies in my inventory is I sell. Yep. Damn it. Okay. I'm just gonna let you get all the all the small loot. Yeah, there's no way left to run. Um, let me know. All the what? All the small boys. Why did I do that? Why did you do that? I, I think I just accidentally... No, I don't think I know I accidentally pressed 2. This is painful for you to watch. I, uh, sped it up a little bit. Thanks, I do appreciate it. Don't forget, 
your spells have range, so you don't have to be right up next to them to do it. Give yeah, it a shot. I just feel comfortable. It's good yes. practice to get better at doing it from afar, because what's the point in being able to, you know, throw them from a distance if you can't use it, right? One of the biggest yeah. things you can do to keep yourself alive is not be next to the bad guy in the first place. I am a melee character. I have to be next to them to fight back in the first place. You can kill them. Okay, I definitely... Hey, Mark. Yeah. And now we finish out. Okay. What was I talking about? Oh, right. So, I'm a melee character. I have to be next to the enemy. You aren't. So you don't. So why be next to them and let them hit you when you could not and not? Yeah. So it's not about you doing more damage. It's about you taking less damage. Right. This is true. So, I would suggest that you pick up the discarded ring for your quest reward, because it gives mm -hmm. you 10 more mana. It's not a lot, but it's the only one that does literally anything for you. Even though it really shouldn't matter, but at least it's something, I guess. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do every time I run across a quote-unquote vendor, mm -hmm. is I like to, one, go to the repair tab, and just hit add all and repair that way they just fix any and all equipment i have and two i like to go to sell and hit the sell gems button to sell all my gems because that's all you do with them is they're just gem shaped money and then i always like to go through um, all the items there and see if there's anything I can sell just to keep my inventory clear now for me It only takes like a few seconds because I know exactly what's good and what isn't what I'm keeping and what's not mm -hmm. Just because I've done it a bunch for you. Um, it might take a little bit longer I'm sure but the way I would do it is if you don't Know for sure that that's something you'll use later. I'd probably just sell it in all honesty, yeah. you're probably just equipping anything good once you get it and calling it a day. So if it's in your inventory at all to be sold, you can probably sell it. Unless it's like particularly special for some reason. Like that necklace, you know you're saving it for later, but nothing mm -hmm. else you are. So if you're not already using it, it's like, okay, whatever, you're not using it. Yeah. Just to keep the clutter free. Yeah. Let's see. What about like potions and stuff like that? So some potions can actually be quite useful. Um, I personally don't really use them a lot, not because they're bad, but I have a really like bad thing with consumables where if I keep them, I'll never use them because I might need them later. But I also um, try to be as effective as I can without them because I might not always have them. But if you want to keep the potion, you can. It's not like it's useless or anything. Depending on what it is, it might be more useful than others. But I generally don't bother with them. But if you find a cool potion that you want to hold on to, you're totally welcome to. I would just suggest actually using it and not holding on to it for a month and never drinking it because then... I don't know. You might as well just sell it if you never use it. Right. I totally get that. We're at a bar, so like, why would I not stand on a table and dance? Why stand on the table? I don't know. It's kind of a. I don't know. I've never. When you done can it with stand liver. up here. That's totally crazy. I'm gonna join you if I'm coordinated enough to get up there. I cannot promise you that I am. You oh, might God, also, Jesus. you probably can't jump as high as I can, too. I need to get on one of them barrels. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Look, don't ask questions. <laughs> Here, try to climb up. Okay, alright. Eh. Oh, fuck. 
<laughs> um, I did not like it. Hey, well, I mean, you, you almost None of sort that. of didn't have it. None of that. Okay, you know what? We've had our fun. We've had our drunken fun. Okay, right. That's all for that one. Okay, let's go. But Vegas stays in Vegas, right? I mean, what happens in the Wavecrest Tavern stays in the Wavecrest Tavern. We'll go with that. No, I mean, that's that's its name. Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I figured, but we, you know, you just adapted it to the situation. Improvise, Very adaptable. adapt, overcome. That's a damn right. Improvise, adapt. Oh my gosh, that used to be my life motto. That's Probably a good thing. Anyways, so look in the no. bottom right corner and tell me, out of those um, empty spheres, how many of them are filled up blue? All five of them. Excellent. You can level up. Oh, yeah, me. Okay, tell me how to do that. Well, we gotta go find the cleric trainer. Here, hey, look at that, trainer. the cleric trainer. Okay, friend. All right. Come here. So, first off, you talk to him. Okay. I'm talking. Mm -hmm. And we'd spend action points on enhancements. Oh, advance to the next level as a cleric. Would you look at that? Yeah, there you go. Okay, what? 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 There's a lot of stuff going on here. All right. So first off, skills. Yes. Mhm. Mm so what you generally want to do, and this is what you will be doing, but just as a general rule, nine out of okay. ten times, unless you really know what you're doing and you're trying to do something funky. Whatever skills you were maxing out at character creation, just keep maxing them out every level. Okay, so one point for heal and one point for spellcraft? Yep. Okay. And you just keep them topped off because those are the skills you're specializing in. And it's better to specialize in a few than have like one or two points in all of them. Right. Because if you're not good, well, you're not good. Uh, yeah, so better to be true. good at what you're good at. All right. Okay, so I got a little bit of stuff going on here. I got basic feats, defensive feats, martial feats, and cleric domains, and I'm granted class feats, so... Yep, you get a domain. We're going to go with the sun domain. Yeah, sun domain. Because domain the, of the sun, sun is a deadly laser. It is. Laser beams. Great. Yep. Now... I don't remember what the sun domain does. I just Probably remember that I look. I just I just remember that it's it's good and you want it. Trust me, it'll be fine. I don't know. You get like I don't know. Uh, you get a you get a laser beam or something later. Look, <laughs> I'll I'll look it up later, but it'll be fine. Honestly, if it involves laser beams, it's probably good. We just leave it at that. Laser beam, good. Yeah. Wait. So four granted class feats, one feat, two skill points. Is this just saying, like, this is everything that you've gotten, congrats, now you can move on with your life? Yep. Sweet, finish. There you go. Look at that. I'm a new woman. You're now level two. You're welcome. Now, I would say you should probably spend your action points, but I don't know off the top of my head exactly what you should spend them in. And honestly, it, it, pro it probably doesn't matter. I don't, I don't know. Um... You may or may not have accidentally just spent it on Nimbus of Light again, so now I have two out of three. Oh, um, wait, wait, Nimbus of Light has more ranks? Yeah, it says two out of three. Oh, fucking, wait. If you put, hold on, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna look this up on my phone. Okay. Oh, I just noticed, my mom texted me that they were on their way back from the grocery store and be ready to unload. I literally didn't get the text, even though my phone was on uh, playing a YouTube video while I was making my green beans when they showed up, and it, I just didn't get it. And I was literally being used, and it didn't go off. Alright, well, that's unfortunate. I'm not making green beans with a timestamp for you. I mean, that's how you tell, uh, you know, when things were. Yeah, that's true. That happens to me all the time, though. I totally understand. Alright, let me see. Uh, Divine Disciple. 
What is that? Yeah, blah blah blah. There's when you on the opposite. All right, so we're on. Activation cost four three two spell points gone in six five fours. Oh shit! Yeah, uh, max out Nimbus of Light because it literally makes the cooldown shorter, so you can cast it more often. Instead of every six seconds, you can cast it every five with two ranks and every four with three ranks. So that's oh. useful. I'll pretend like I know what that is. What what is? What you just said. So ranks are just how many points in the ability you have. Some abilities, can, like in your enhancement tree, some can only have one point or one rank. Some abilities cost two action points to train per rank. Some cost one. Most cost one. Some have one rank. Some have three. Um, I don't remember if there's any still in the game that have two. I know there were a few at some point. I don't remember if they still exist. Most are usually one or three. Nice. I promise I'll get the hang of this one day. It's just a lot. Oh, it it'll be fine. It it's a lot for everyone. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's this game has a lot of information. It's pretty understandable to just kind of not get stuff when you're first starting out. For sure. I mean, it's always good to like hear it because you know you'll hear it and then you'll see it and then you'll connect the two dots and be like, oh, that's totally what he was talking about. Yeah, because if you, if you never hear it, it'll be a lot harder to get it. And then if you do, uh, hopefully you'll connect it later. Yeah. Anywho. So, remember, uh, Nimbus of Light is an active ability, not a passive ability. So, a passive <laughs> ability, it'll look like a... I think that's an octagon? Yeah. So, passive abilities icons are octagons. Whenever you put points in them, they automatically update. You don't have to do anything. The squares, the active abilities, the ones where you actually have to like push a button to do a thing, whenever yeah. you whenever you upgrade them in your enhancement tree, after you accept the upgrade, you have to go to your character sheet and go to your enhancement tab and drag the new version of that ability onto your bar. And I would put it on top of the old one, and then don't forget to right-click it and re-enable Maximize on Nimbus of Light after you upgrade it. Active abilities do not auto automatically, retroactively update. You must manually do it yourself. They're very active that way. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it kind of forces you to kind of know where everything is. It's kind of hard to lose stuff, so... Yeah. yeah. Um, after maxing out Nimbus of Light, did you have any more points, or was that all you had? Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay, how did I get there again? To your enhancements? Yeah. So you can either do Control-R, or you can go to the dragon guy in the bottom left, and pop up that menu thing, and the third from the top will say enhancements. Either one you want. Got it. Okay, so I have... Well, I had, um, let me see here. I have two left. After maxing out Nimbus of Light? Oh, no, now I have none. Oh, well, okay, now hit accept. Okay. And now close out of that, go to your character sheet, go to enhancements, drag out the new version, put it on top of the old spell-like ability, since you don't need it and you can't use it because it's not the version you have anymore and then right click it and turn maximize on all the time yet again because this is technically a different ability your enhancement tree overwrote your access to the ability so instead of having access to the rank one version it overwrote that and instead took that away but gave you access to the rank three version so you no longer can cast the rank one version it doesn't exist for you anymore you didn't update the ability technically you changed it out for a different one even though it looks like you're upgrading it it's really weird like that which is the reason you have to pull out the new version each time when it's an active and not a passive. 
Mm-hmm. Strange, I know, but that's just how it works. Uh, Y'all hey. done? Uh, I don't know if I did it right, but uh, you just go to enhancement, and then you just drag the new one into the thing. Into the bar. Yeah. Yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, I actually did do that right. <laughs> yeah, you just did. You stick it on top of the old one. Yes. Okay. Now right-click the icon to mm-hmm. uh, mess around with your meta magic on it. Remember, maximize the meta magic. Okay. And set that mm-hmm. to always on since you get it for free. Oh yeah. There you go. I did a thing. You did a thing. Now instead of having Nimbus of Light only come up every six seconds, now you can cast it every four seconds. Which Hell is good yeah. because that version of Nimbus of Light is literally one point five times stronger than your regular version. So you wanna cast that one more, because it's better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, better, stronger, yes. Big strong. Now, let me, uh, let me look up the, the domain real quick. Air, no. Animal, no. Chaos, no. Death, destruction, earth, fire, good, healing, knowledge, law, luck, magic, protection, strength, sun, sun domain. Okay, so the Sun Domain, when you first get it at level 2, you get plus 2 fire and light spell power per cleric level. Remember, light spell power makes your light spells do more damage. Conversely, mm-hmm. fire spell power makes your fire spells do more damage. You don't have any fire spells right now, but when you get to a higher level, you will later. They'll probably never be as good as your light spells, but hey, you can still be a little bit better at them. I would probably focus more on the light, but fire does have its uses for you. And you also get the ability, when you use Turn Undead, even if there are no undead to turn, literally just when you click the ability, you and your allies gain True Sight. Which, the short version is it's useful for a lot of things. The slightly longer version is it lets you pierce through all illusions. So you can't be fooled by the illusions in all of their forms. In addition, for 20 yeah. seconds, enemies in the radius of the turn undead have their incorporeal mischance negated. Basically, ghosts stop being all intangible and stuff. They become corporeal, i.e. you can touch ghosts, and will be inflicted with 10% vulnerability to light damage. And all of that sounds pretty lit, so... Yes, so vulnerability makes a monster take more damage. A 10% vulnerability to light damage means they take 10% more damage when it's light damage, of which you deal a lot of. So not only does it make your light spells do more damage, but it means that whenever you use turn undead, nearby enemies take more light damage. So even if... There are no undead. Even if you're not specced to make turn undead a powerful ability, you can literally just click turn undead and then use that as a as a debuff that never misses. There's no save against it. Literally just, oh, I'm standing next to an enemy. I use turn undead. There are no undead. I don't care. That enemy still takes more light damage now. And then you shoot a sun laser and then they just... Yeah, and then you shoot sun laser and you blow them up. Basically, it turns an ability that you weren't using for anything else into an on-demand guaranteed debuff on enemies that makes you better at lasering them. It's super good, actually. Now... Yeah, I'm gonna say super good, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's wicked good. And because mm. they take more percent damage, this is a multiplier after you stack all of your damage on top of each other. Whatever damage you put out, the damage they take in is then multiplied, meaning all of your effects that add together would then be multiplied, right? So it's, it's actually mathematically more effective than it might appear at first. Good lord. Yeah, it's pretty cool, stacks actually. Stacks on stacks on stacks. Yeah, if, if you, like, remember PEMDOS, basically you take all the damage that you can stack on your spells 
put all of that in parentheses and then multiply that by 1.1 times. That's how that works. Or something you know, like that. I was having a lot of fun, and then you brought MDOS into it, which gave me flashbacks of NOM from high school <laughs> calculus. And, you know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm done. That's fair. Yeah, I see a Basically, parentheses OP. This is true. But, yeah, at low levels, that doesn't really do a lot, because what's 10% more of you doing 10 damage? What, you do one more point of damage? That's exactly. Like, that's, like, not even really worth doing anything, right? Like, is it even worth the time of making them vulnerable? Honestly, probably not. But, but what, what about... More damage is not good. But what about later on when you're doing 100 damage? Or 1,000 damage? Right. 10% of that's starting to really become a lot, huh? So the higher level you get, the more effective that ability becomes. So it actually scales pretty well. <laughs> and just to go over the other things you get from it later on, uh, since they're all fairly short, at level 5, you get the Searing Light spell-like ability. So kind of like Nimbus of Light, you'll get one for Searing Light, which is basically just a higher level version of the spell. It does share a cooldown with the same ability in the Divine Disciple tree, the Searing Light SLA in your tree, but that just means you can get something else there instead, because you only have so many action points to get with enhancements, so just get something else, right? So it's not bad, it just means you pick a different thing. So instead of getting two copies of it, you get one and then a different thing, since one is guaranteed. Or, you spec into the Searing Light SLA and Divine Disciple, hit level 5 and get one for free, and then spec out of it and get something else then. Details. At level 9, you get yeah. Sunbeam as a spell-like ability. So, you remember that sun laser thing I'm talking about? You're starting to yes. really ramp up once you get a few more levels under your belt, and it stops being just quote-unquote light and straight-up sun, like in nomenclature, <laughs> at least. <laughs> Nomenclature. I haven't heard that word in forever. <laughs> and at level 14, you get Sunburst as a spell-like ability. So basically, the Sun Domain gives you a lot of spell-like abilities that do light and sun damage. <laughs> which is very good, because you can throw on your meta magic for free, and then do even more sun damage. Very good. Would recommend. Oh yeah. I mean, I'm ready. Let's get it. <laughs> Woo. All right. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we're going to pick up a bunch of quests for the uh, for outside in the wilderness. So we want to talk to the handsome man over there. Okay. Talk to the Maybe handsome. Talk to like the mayor. Who is yeah. far less handsome. You can tell because his name is not the handsome mayor. That's true. He's just a store. It's fine. <laughs> and then you talk to this guard chick here. God, she she looks like she is way too she's serious for her own good. Yeah, she's been through a few things. She's been through a we lot. We just leave her alone. And then we just leave her alone. We go on out to the island. Um, you'll notice this is actually on normal difficulty. Remember mm -hmm. that wilderness zones do not actually have difficulty options, so it's okay. Like, it doesn't actually matter. A wilderness zone. I like that. Does heck? that mean there's going to be, like, pretty landscape or something? Or is just everything going to try to kill me within a beautiful landscape? Uh, they will try to kill you. Great. Love it. Why in the hell? Is it taking forever for you, too? No, I'm in here. I am not. It is saying loading. Please wait. Uh, is the bar at the bottom completely empty? Yeah. Uh, There's nothing there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it just hung up. You just gotta either give it potentially a while it might work immediately 
it might just never work no matter how long you let it sit there. Or what I usually do, if it doesn't work after a few seconds or a minute, I just close out the game and relaunch it. Okay, let's see here. I think the only way I can do that is by task managing this. Okay. Oh, actually, fun fact, there's a neat little thing you can do. So if you can actually alt-tab out to something else, you can see it on your taskbar at the bottom. Put your mouse over that, and it'll bring a small little pop-up window just above the icon. And at the top right corner of that pop-up window, if you hover over that with your mouse, there'll actually be an X to close it out with. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't like that. I'm not allowed to exit out of here. So. It might just take a second. Sometimes it does that. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, you're right. It did just take a second. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. again. I can also tell because you disconnected from the game on here. Oh, so, see. So I, I knew it was working, too. Okay. All right, I'm headed back. Hopefully, because I already went through the door, I won't. have no idea how this works. Uh, it'll probably load you up on the village side of things, but it doesn't really matter. Just talk to the door again, forehead. Yeah, yeah. Forehead. Forehead, get out of here. Uh, yeah, you're right. It, yeah, I just gotta talk to the door. The door. The, the door. The village. Hang on. The door is the not letting me talk to it or something. Then. Oh, you might have to let the game load up the stuff again. Now, see, now you're here. What? I did it. Hey. I'm back. Is this is this snow or is this some weird? Ah, thank you, thank you. Yes, this is in fact snow. Oh, so it must be warm here because nothing is accumulating. Who is this man? And do I need to talk to you? Not right now. Okay, well he's apparently tired, so. No, tireless. Oh, well then he is unable to be tired. That, that is what he is. Yes. All right. Okay, now we're using our big brain. All right, look at that. Another guy with another quest. Yeah, man. The quickest path is to jump down the cliff. Okay, let's go. Loosh. Oh no, I don't know how to get back up. To an underground complex. Oh, so whenever you're underwater, you can always hold space to swim to the top. Oh, thanks. Oh, then I think so you're trying to kill us. Okay, that was unexpected. Absolutely. They're gone. Thanks. And now we hop in the quest. Oh, this is the quest. Look at us. Hmm. Look at me figuring things out. I mean, it totally wasn't obvious since I literally jumped in there. No, okay. I just... Alright, so cool thing about this quest. If you play it on a higher difficulty. I know this works on Elite. I don't remember if this works on Hard. Maybe it only spawns one guy. But if you're on Normal, you just run forward. But walk backwards. Like, walk away from the entrance looking at it the like this. Grows yeah. Do that. The ancient tunnel Keep going. Descends. Look at that. <laughs> Enemy spawned in. If you play on a higher difficulty, they actually try to ambush you. In there! Yeah, and pretty I died on my waist to that. Let's go. Here, I'll let you handle that guy. Thanks. Okay, so that was a little disappointing. Whenever I was watching you and Rage play, um, I saw that going up a waterfall. Why am I missing all of these things? Oh, um, I, I only meant to hit that one. Whoops. I mean, you were helping me out. I literally couldn't do anything. But I saw that whenever you try to run up a waterfall, it reduces your speed, but then whenever you run down it, it doesn't increase your speed, so now I'm a little disappointed, but it's fine. Uh, is that how that works? I don't know. I mean, I know you go slower when you go up most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> 
No. Yeah, it doesn't increase you. Does it? In it no, it did not increase my speed. If it did, it was by a small amount. Honestly, I don't even really remember at this point. Hey, it's not important. Thank you, Ring but... of True Sight. Thank you, Ring. Praise be. You hear a gate oh, look at that. Opens it opens something behind. I mean. Oh, yes. Look at that. Another sneak attack. Oh, my first M. The, uh, well, method, but yes. Method. Close enough, man. It just looks like that. It looks like an imp off of Oblivion, so that's... Yeah, that's fair. It's basically the same thing. I don't know why... Now, see, look, you're doing a little bit more damage, too. Just... just slightly. Cooldown is a little bit slower, but... You mean faster? Faster? Slower? It... I don't know, maybe I'm just more impatient. That's probably what it is. Thanks. It's not slower, it's lower. Mm hmm You hear a gate ratcheting open somewhere behind you. And I did that again. <laughs> there you go. The tunnel split. Yay. Which way to the giantish device? I got rid of them. Thanks. Big right. strong. So look at that. You pull that lever and then the left door closes, but the right one opens. You pull it again. The left one opens and the right one closes. So which way you want to go? I don't know why my first thought was we should roll for it, but... Okay. Okay, I don't know how to do that, but... Uh, odds or evens? Uh, let's go uh, right for even, left for odds. Hey, okay. rolled 17. We're going left. Oh, my acute danger senses are tingling. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad that they were tingling, because I would have gotten annihilated. Oh yeah, you would have been fucked. Yeah, I see that. Bonk. Okay. Bonk. One singular bonk, and that's all it took. Love it. I bonk good. You do. Alright, so look at good. that. You completed this hallway, and if you turn around, the door opened back up. If you're careful, you may be able to take the sleep. So, if you spots. want to take the other path as well, because if you remember, doing more of the quest gives you more experience, you actually can. Alright, let's do it. Since you can kill more monsters, break more shit, do more traps, find more doors, you know, all that jazz. I'm gonna let your tingly senses do their thing. Well, okay, you already knew. You were literally staring at it as I was about to get like. <laughs> It's scary because now you do know things that are like in the future. Like normally you're just right because it's, you're just right, but now you are actually predicting the future. So it's not even fair. Well, I heard some of that. That's like having great internet. I mean, it's impeccable. No issues. Yeah, ratcheting machinery. Mm -hmm. Something in the mm -hmm. chamber below you has activated. I'm just happy that I actually get to play this at all. Like, I've never had good enough internet to play games. And I killed myself once ago. There you go, you got that guy. I really did. Oh shit, you got him good. I got him. I, I turned around for one second and you, you fucking exploded. Look at that. Oh. The ring finds yet another. Alright, figure this room out. Figure this room out. Alright. I don't know, come over here. Okay. We've got valves, gongs, doors, other doors. This weird ice mist stuff is coming out of that. And look at what it's blowing into. This with great you hear whatever you do do not pull that again by the way not right now pull it later you were supposed to uh, you're supposed to pull it twice just mm -hmm. don't do it again right now just so I can show you something okay that ice that's coming out of there comes back out of here because you noticed it went through the grate 
Yeah, I kind of noticed that before. Yeah. yeah. And see? What the hell? It actually has a really cool effect, too. It has pushy powers. Now, you don't actually want to stand in front of it because it will kill you, but I, as a rogue, have an ability called Evasion. You figured it out! Yay! I, as a rogue, have an ability called Evasion where um, certain AoE effects, if my um, reflex save is high enough, I can literally just boss dodge it and it won't hurt me. Mm -hmm. They are the dead. But what are they guarding? They dead. What? But you know, most people don't have that ability, so you generally don't want to stand in front of traps and fireballs and stuff. Just because I don't care doesn't mean you shouldn't. Yeah. I feel like that's gonna be the case with a whole lot of things. The second strike of the gong produces the telltale sound of cracking ice. Oh, no. And the sonic sound of the gong breaks the ice, and we can go below and assist Wait, our guests. Do I take fall damage? I do. Yep. A little bit, but he's dead. Okay. If you want to avoid taking fall damage, um, investing in the jump, Matter. investing in the jump and tumble skills will slightly reduce fall damage. However. You're still better off investing in heal and spellcraft, so don't worry about it since you don't have the skill points. If you had more, I might suggest it, but you don't, so I probably wouldn't bother. What's your uh, little dude doing? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, yeah, so... You notice how there's water where we are? Yeah. They don't play well in water. Uh, they're like cats. They don't like getting wet, so <laughs> he just constantly tries to float above it. Uh -huh. Now, this is not actually what happens, but I'm using that as a BS explanation because, uh, I don't know, role-playing? <laughs> yeah, role-playing, that's it. Role-playing, this is true. No, uh, the, the, the models just, I don't know, they don't, they don't work in water or something. So they constantly try to reset themselves. Okay, so you're going to have to learn how to swim underwater to do this next part. Okay, I'll just go first person because I'm an abomination. Now, what I do is I do not zoom in all the way because then I can't see anything around me. I do use mouse look mode, but I don't go into first person because then I can't fucking see anything. Right. I did find it a little strange. I know it's painful. Mm. Ah, that does so much more damage now. Yeah, you're doing better. That. Now, you don't have to think of it like an ability rotation where you have to cast your spells in order. Mm -hmm. If your better spell comes off cooldown, you don't like go, oh, well, I didn't cast my weaker spell yet. Nah, fuck it, cast your better spell again. Right. Of course, that is if you have the mana to do something. I mean, you've got like a hundred mana. Yeah. It's just annihilate everything you touch. Now, that chest also has a preset drop that uh, sucks, so I don't bother with it. Alright, let's go. I mean, you know, a long time ago it was a lot better, but nowadays it's like bleh. Ahead is the giant. Mm -hmm. Spider. Spider. It's not bad. I'm trying to search for some spider. <laughs> no, sir, spider. Be nice, Spider. Oh no, he's deadly. Oh no. You'll be fine, you got him. Thanks, guys. I appreciate the support. I have Why am I missing? Why you what? Oh, I was missing a bunch of stuff. Just hit him. Alright, well I disabled the traps for you, so you don't have to worry about standing away from the stuff now. It's safe. Mm.
Oh no, this is taking a long time to kill this boy. Well, it's because you gotta hit him. I am hitting him. Or, am I not hitting him? Am I seriously not hitting him? Well, you got him that time. Well, that's great. You gotta hit him a few times, because he's got, you know, health. Right. Don't forget, E to interact. Might be e. easier. Oh. See? Way but easier. Should be something missing here. Oh, it's on the side, too. Mm -hmm. I get it. I get it. Okay. Now, you notice that all the icy jets were coming out on this side. I disabled the... I disabled them on that side so that they wouldn't kill us. Mm -hmm. You've noticed they, they've kind of been in this whole mission, right? And there's always been a way to stop them or do something else with them. But you notice how this central cube has this energy flowing out, kind of like the thing that had the scroll sealed in that other mission. You had to have the puzzle tiles bring the energy around to activate certain spots. That way you could unseal the scroll. Well, in this one, mm -hmm. you'll notice that the gems it highlights are on the same tile that has one of those head things on it. Yeah. The same head things that spew out the icy jets on this side, where we came from, are on the other side, with the same gems as well. So perhaps if you reverse the puzzle to instead light up the ones over here... Okay, go do the thing. Solve. I got a little, little freak out. I got a little freak out. No, it's fine. Right. First, figure out what is it that you want to do. Well, I want to get that cube thing in the middle to fully light up. I'm guessing. So, the yeah. central cube is where it's coming out of. Oh, I just want to get everything to all the all four corners to light up. I guess is my. Nope. Okay, well then I guess I'll just have to play with it until I find out. So, Sorry. the two on My... this side? Mm -hmm. Yeah? When they're lit up, the ice was coming out of these. And look at the direction they go in. These face outwards to this area. Remember when we walked up here, one or two came out, but then I disabled the trap so they would stop. Mm -hmm. Because this is the side that we came from. Yeah. But look at the other side. So if having these lit up spews that head this way, maybe having this one lit up will spew this head facing that way. I'm trying to like figure a bunch of stuff out right now. I'm trying to get over the fact that I was freaking out for a second. Oh, it's okay. See also, I'm trying to also interpret what the hell you just said, so... <laughs> sure, it wasn't that hard to understand. Pretend it's a light-up Rubik's Cube. Oh god, I, I've never successfully done one of those. That's fine, neither have I. You actually almost had it. Do I need to, like, move this back? Closer. Mm -hmm. The mist solidifies All right, now don't don't stand there. <laughs> but it's not enough. Okay. All right, not standing. Your friend is getting killed. Oh, he's fine. He doesn't take damage. Oh, I figured, but if he did. So now you see you've got all those jets coming out, which are starting to freeze up the giant dude back there. Oh. And yeah, I, see that. I don't think this guy likes that we're trying to uh, put the ice on his big boy or something. Yeah, probably not. I'll say. Hey. Get it. Just whatever you do, don't stand in front of the icy jets. Uh, they hurt. Well, yeah. they hurt you, not not me. 
just be careful. Mm -hmm. Sometimes their range is deceptively large, so even if you think you're safe, you're not always safe. So I, I always recommend being one or two steps back farther than you actually think you need to, just to be mm -hmm. on the safe side. Sure. Alright, well so... you got one down. One more to go. Alright. Okay. Wait, so do they all need to be consecutively lit up at the same time, or can I actually just, like, take that one off now? Oh, you need to have, um, both. If you, uh, you might not have heard it, but the Dungeon Master did say, uh, something about trying to get both of them. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, the mist solidifies into ice over the ancient creature, but it's not enough. You need both jets to affect a thing of this size. So, so you used one side of the cube's power output to power one of the crystals? So now you want to use the other side on the other one. Bingo, bango. Over the I, I messed up. Yeah. No, you had it. Uh, so, so. See, in a circle. Okay, there we go. And look at that. It's all freezing. Either. You put them on ice. Alright, let's finish out. You got him. I'm glad he's such a chill dude now. <laughs> okay. This is why I'm not going to be allowed to record with you again. This is why what? I'm never going to be allowed to record with you again. <laughs> because of that? Uh, yeah, that, and I have no idea where you went because I turned out for like two seconds. Oh, you just finish out. We're done. Okay. Hence why I said, and now we're done. Or whatever the fuck right. I said. So, some little backstory. Brenda, my friend, just texted me. Uh -huh. Or she actually tried calling me. And... The last time I told her to call me was, like, under any, like, horrible scenarios. So I was like, oh, God, she's calling me. Uh, it must be bad. But she just wants me to go run out in my driveway and see if her friend's wallet is there. But I don't know. I mean, you can go do that real quick if you need to. Uh, do you mind? I don't care. Okay. I think I'll be I'll fine. Show you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Something tells me I'll manage. <laughs> You continuously swat flies. I'll be there. Uh, Alright, everyone. It looks like it's just little old me entertaining all two and a half of you who are still watching. Oh boy, what am I gonna do? I'm so bad at this. Never mind, I'm great at this. I'm just gonna chill here. Ugh. <laughs> Apologies for all the sniffling, by the way. It's, uh, getting a little chilly. I think the Mind Flayer might have gotten... God, what the fuck is that dragon's name? I don't know, the, the white dragon again. I wish I remembered. It's not... Ossicarex? I don't know. Something like that. I'm pretty sure that's it. I think the Mind Flayer got a hold of her again. Ugh. Dragon's a she, by the way. If nobody ever noticed, or nobody uh, <laughs> played the quest from the Reaver's Reach that has it, yeah, the the dragon's a girl. So that's that's cool. Deep lore. Ugh. I really should probably get something else. I guess at this point. Hey, welcome back. I literally surveyed so quickly. Did you find it? No, I didn't see anything. I mean, granted, I never actually went outside. Wait, what? To see where they parked whenever they were here. Oh. So I just kind of generally looked everywhere. I mean, there's only like one or two spots they could have parked in, right? Yeah, they either. It's just there's a lot of trees. And so I'm afraid that, like, leaves and stuff could have picked it up. 
or like hidden it or something. But uh, it's also really dark outside. That's true. It is very late. Uh, oh well? Question mark. Yeah. Well, I mean, there, anything could be the case with that with those two right now. Oh, do I want to know? Well, I mean, he showed up, when Brenda brought him over, he showed up with a Bud Light in his hand and was having trouble walking in a straight line already, so the probability of him actually have lost it in my driveway, I don't know, seems, seems fishy. What would the odds of him quite possibly having lost it previously being rather prevalent? I mean, he could, like, still talk and everything, but you could tell he was having a good time. <laughs> anyway, sorry for that distraction. No, it's fine. <laughs> he screamed in your face and you literally just, like, backhanded him. <laughs> And just annihilated him. He was, he was ready and everything, and you just shut him down. I tend to do that. Hmm. But hey, that's what happens when you're level 5 running through the level 1 area, you know? Like, eh. Am I OP or am I just overleveled? Huh? Maybe. Probably. In this case, yes. <laughs> you enter one of the laboratories where decades ago, house came the doorway ahead. Oh no. Boarded up. Oddly, the work Two by fours. My weakness. What will I uh, do? I'll I heal myself, damn it. That is, that is the single <laughs> least effective thing you could have possibly done in that scenario you were two oh, for two and then you <laughs> fucked it up by going huh you know that thing i was doing that was working what if i did literally anything else yeah that seems like an idea well that's exactly what i did and we still made it so <laughs> oh no am i lagging there i'll save you from your lag by killing him Thanks. I was literally pressing everything, and it was just like, you know what, no. Alright, so you find the secret door. All you right. pull the valve. Oh, Here, yeah, I weakened him for you. Thank you. Let's see if this works. There, there you go. go. <laughs> see, look at that. You even turned him into, like, misty stuff. Uh-huh. Here, come over here. Mm -hmm. Second secret door. Second yeah. valve. As you twist the second valve, close, the hissing stops. Can you actually hear the dungeon master? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so all that poison stuff that was coming out, if you get both doors and both valves... You can disable the poison trap. Uh. I'm just. Oh uh, god. It, it, it's, there you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. Remember that thing that I told you yesterday? This is the most complete game. Like this. I heard some of that. Oh, uh, this is the first computer game that I've ever played like this. I played like. League and Heroes of the Storm, and that's about it. Yeah, but those it. are very I mean, different games. Uh, yeah. Like, different than this game, I mean. Yeah. I got that. <laughs> yeah, so I, I'm probably gonna continue to press the wrong buttons. Keys, I guess. It's okay. Eventually we'll start doing content that requires me to actually play the game because I won't be ludicrously overleveled. And then I'll die mm -hmm. because you didn't heal me. And then I'll be like, A magical well, with good luck. <laughs> and then you'll die because I wasn't there. And I'll be like, you hope you can <sighs> huh. Might have to work on that. 
Nah, it'll probably be fine. In fact, in fact, if you want a, a little quick tip, so you don't have to right click on yourself to target you, and you don't have to right click on your friends to target them either. The function keys will automatically target specific party members based on their placement in the party roster. Hitting um. the F1 key will always hard target yourself, and hitting F2 through F12 will always target the party member based on where they are. So you'll see how there's your name and your health and your mana on the left side on your personal focus orb. And then mm -hmm. below that is my name, my health, and my mana. Uh, so I'm in the yeah. second slot. If another person joined, they would then be under me, and they would be in the third slot. So on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So hitting F2 oh. would automatically target me. So you don't have to right-click on me to target me. So if you want, a quick combo would be to hit like F2, and then whatever your heal thing is. If you needed to heal me, but you weren't sure, like, if you could target me through, maybe there's enemies in the way, you might click them on accident, or maybe you don't know, like, maybe I'm behind you and you'd have to, like, turn around or something. So, you know how you have to be facing the enemy to throw your lasers at them? Because you still yeah. throw them in front of you, because you send yeah. your hands outward. Well, when you cast your heal spell, you notice that you send your hands up. Yes. So you can actually heal me without looking at me. Like, if you turn around and I'm behind you, hit F2 to target me, and then hit your heal button. Yeah, I'm gonna try this first. I'm just gonna click on your name because there's actually, since I'm a nerd and I have a laptop, you have to press control before you can hit F2. Wait, seriously? Bruh, that's, yeah. oh my god, that's cancer. Literally, <laughs> I know, but hang on, I'm going to try this. fucking garbage. Uh, cool. Hey, see so yeah, yeah, you did it. There I am. So I that, might, that might make um, healing easier for you, because there, there will eventually become a time where, you know, I don't just bonk some guy once and he dies. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> I am back. Let's go. What was that about? I don't remember. I just had this weird memory. Wait, you what? I had a random memory of me seeing him pull his wallet out. Uh huh. And then, but, um, um, yeah, it wasn't where I thought it was. So. Okay. Yep. Alright, well, you got the two most obvious vowels, but it looks like there's four more to go. Are these little baby vowels? Yeah, they are. Yep. Don't forget, E. 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 And another thing you can do to sort of cheat find them a little bit easier, remember, not only can you hit tab to target hostiles, but or to cycle through targetable hostiles, you can hit Q to cycle through targetable non-hostiles, which can highlight where the other valves might be if you have trouble seeing them. That's true. And again, uh, maybe don't stand in the icy jets. I'm doing it because I'm a jackass, but you probably shouldn't. Oh, I love how you said that and then I ran directly Oh, I saw. <laughs> oh, I saw. <laughs> Do not think I didn't. Okay, but granted it was an accident. Was it? Yes! Did you hit auto run again? Yes, please. Well, at least I think I did. Maybe I was seriously just like an ill. I mean, you might have just decided to end it all. It wouldn't be the first time you've contemplated it. You know what? I hate that you said that, but I can laugh at it now, so it's fine. It's actually really funny. <laughs> um, so I think I've managed. I have one left. Yep. One left. You're just gonna sit here, like, knowing exactly where it is. Oh, I even know which one it is, too. And even if I, I didn't, know. I also know how to figure out which one it would be. That's the best part. That was painfully long. Crystals, you can now easily destroy them. 
Death. Mine. Did you just say mine? Uh huh. Mine. As the last crystal shatters, the hum of power slowly fades into a heavy silence. Alright, so there's a neat little thing here. I know I put this in the video, but I'll show you too, just to remind you. Through this door is a locked door, which your rogue can unlock. Oh. And there's a chest. Yes. Yes. Not only that, but you'll notice these guard dogs the here. See how they're... Um, uh, they're still now, right? They're motionless. They're gonna come alive, aren't they? No. We deactivated them. See, when oh. you cut off the power, these guys freeze up, because there's nothing powering them anymore. Because they're robot dogs. So if you come to this I'm room... Admiring. Do what? I said I'm just admiring their design, sorry. It's actually really cool. Kind of is, I'm enjoying it. Right, out of first person, out of the forbidden mode. No what? The forbidden mode. Oh, what? Mouse look mode? Uh, first person? Oh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> I mean, it's good for looking at stuff, that's about it. Yeah. I just like, I don't know, I like admiring game design stuff, I don't know. Probably because I took a creative game design class when I was like 13, but then I Wait, what? was... Yeah, I went to TCU when I was 13 for like one class, and it was creative game design. It was pretty cool, actually. <laughs> My teacher was just a, a college teacher, and I was a 13-year-old, so... Communication? Eh. Fun. It was up there. I still have my game on a USB drive somewhere around here that I made. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm going to have some trouble getting over how fucking cool you are. Thanks, man. It was a really shitty game. I think I made a cube chase you and it could kill you if you didn't get away fast enough. But I mean, you oh, know. Oh, yeah, that happens this. in this game, too. Yeah, right. But the cube is an actual fucking thing. Yeah, the cube's an actual thing in this game, too. Right. And it will chase oh. you. And if you're not fast enough, you will die. No, seriously, there's a mission in this game that is literally exactly that. All right. I don't trust that water. Who in the flame are you? I just no. ran over it. Fuck your trust issues. Uh, I healed myself, damn it. So you probably Fuck should. You. I mean, you are missing hit points. Why do you keep Wait, trying I'm to tr stop lasering him? <laughs> oh, he's good. <laughs> You're lucky you can't hurt friendlies. But anyways, if you go into that room before you deactivate the power, the dogs are still active and you can fight them. Well, God, I helped so much with that. Well, so, so they can actually kill him if you don't hurt them fast enough, so... One thing you can do as a healer is you can actually, well, heal your friends here so that they don't die, since the fail condition is they die. So if you heal oh. him, and he doesn't die, you don't fail. It's actually pretty cool. He also acts like he did something. Look at him. Wa watch him actually fight. You remember what <laughs> happened when you were playing your wizard and trying to beat them up with a stick because you didn't have spells? Yeah. yeah. Watch this fucking jackass. He does the same yeah. thing. This dude, this old ass man, he's got no spells because so he just tries to beat him up with a stick. That's the most depressing. Look at you it. Know what? It'll take more than that to put me down, Slahagen. He'll get it one day. Now, you notice his bodyguard, like, is a warrior with a giant axe, so obviously he's supposed to do that. But this old man is just like, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna smack him around with my walking cane. That's gonna be effective. <laughs> let, him, let him have this one thing left before he dies, you know? 
<laughs> well, if he dies, we happens. lose. <laughs> so, maybe not the I last mean, part. The sad thing is, is how much... Oh, God damn it, why do I keep healing myself? <laughs> I mean, at least you were missing hit points that time, so... Yeah, at least. Um... Right. The magic is gone. We beat them off this time. Aiden looks weary after surviving this latest attack. Now, see, because he's not a party member, you can't use the function key trick to target him, but you can still right click him since he is an ally and heal him. Yeah, that's true. I just I don't I need an explanation for that face that's floating above his head, because that's absolutely unacceptable. Well, first off, he's an old man. All old people have weird creepy faces floating above their heads that's true i saw one last week at grandpa's house <laughs> okay anyways um that was just uh a debuff got it the fish guys debuffed him and that's just the image not all debuffs have like an ob like a super obvious visual effect but some of them do Anyways, you should probably talk to that guy again, since that's what the quest says to do. That's very true. And the dungeon master. Alright, my cat was asking for attention. Oh, well, heal him. My cat? Yeah, I don't know. Cast cure light wounds on your cat. Hey, sausage. Alright, she's good enough. <laughs> don't forget, you can heal at range, which is way useful. That is true. Tell Ursa to hold the barricade just a little longer. Then meet a mountain. Time to finish out, since we are done. No, no, no. Since, since he's an ally, like right, like right-click him, so you target him, and then yeah, try to heal. Oh, is it not working? Not at all. Hmm. Oh. Maybe it's because it's like, maybe it's because it doesn't matter anymore. I don't know. Probably need to rest. Right? No, you can just finish out. Whenever you leave a completed dungeon, you automatically get uh, full health and mana. So, gotcha. you only need to rest if you're not done. But if you beat it, mm -hmm. you just leave. This is true, there's no point. Yeah, because why give yourself full abilities when you're gonna give yourself full abilities? Like, there's no point. For sure. Is this an offering pot? But instead of a pot, it's just blood. A bloody pot. Well, the offering is you, so. Uh, I mean, I am a pretty good offering. I think. I don't, I don't deny this. Oh, so thank you. I appreciate that. You really shouldn't, unless you want to be sacrificed. I mean, do you want to be sacrificed? Sure. Wait, what? Sure. Oh. Okay. See you later, man. It was nice knowing you. Eh, well, you know. It was something knowing you. Mm, kind of. It was a thing. It was definitely something that happened. Unfortunately. Geronimo! Is he just thud on the ground? Right. Hmm, a rare <laughs> encounter. I wonder what I get in this chest. Oh, that's right. A shitty guaranteed drop that I don't want because it sucks. Perfect. And I can't even sell it. Depression. You actually got two potions, which you could have sold, but it doesn't. Like, it literally doesn't matter. It'll be fine. You'll be fine. It'll be fine. All right, let's jump in the thing. We have three <laughs> more quests, and then we're done. Oh, yes. Why is that always the noise for bats in video games? Like, anybody else, like, who's played Silent Hill 4, like, you just know. Like, if you know, you know. I would let you try to hit the bats, but honestly, fuck fighting bats. Those guys are way too hard to hit. Yeah, they're pretty annoying. Oh no, these guys run really fast. 
They're Wait, zombies. They literally run slow. Oh, wow, you got one. Why am I missing all of these? Well, you're not doing anything right now. I don't know why. No, you hit that one. Yeah, it's not that. I don't know. I think my enemy is just... God damn it, you're undead. You heal them. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna take some serious getting used to. And he teleported. No, he exploded, and I'm not really sure why. He just gave up on life. He did. That's alright. Sometimes we all did. Even though he's not alive, technically, so he gave up twice. He gave up on unlife. That's true. He could have not been alive, and he chose to not be alive. Er. That is true. In this case, does two negatives make a positive? Could he be alive now? I mean, not anymore. He exploded. Oh, thanks. I decided to clean house. I mean, honestly, you should just do that. In general? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to just, like, speed blitz us through this, I can. I just, I mean, I know that it probably helps me, like, level up and stuff like that, but it's just hard for me to do it the harder way when there's clearly an easier, faster, probably more time-effective way, so... Oh, it's absolutely more efficient to let me just, like, beat the shit out of these guys, but technically the most efficient would be to not do these in the first place. Huh? Well, because oh, we can I mean... do higher level quests. I mean, we should do that after this. And if you want to, like, I'm totally down. I'll probably fail a bunch of times and not be as, like, of any help, but let's do it. Well, that was kind of the point, was to do the easier ones so you could have, a like, a, a chance to actually practice. Yeah. I mean, we can always... Okay, I'm feeling better now. Um, we can always... Try a harder one, and then if it's just absolutely too much, it's not. It's probably best if you get the practice. Yeah, probably. Definitely. I do get impatient at times. Thank you. But why is this thingy glowing on the wall? Oh, the crystal? I pulled the lever and activated it. Hey, you healed me. Yay. Now kill that guy. Oh, come here, friend. Unfriend. Unfriended. Unfriend? <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah unfriend. Un he's undead, so he is unfriend. I feel really bad for him, because he's trying so hard. I don't know why he's fighting you so fast. Oh, he's just oh. a jumpy boy. Wait, so bunny. ghouls are not, and they are undead. Okay. Yep. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, that is a that is one way to test. Is just, huh? Does this hurt you or heal you? I thought he was dead again. And, uh, there you go. That's too long. Please kill him. Thank you. My leg is, oh jeez, really asleep. Not, oof, this is, oh my not, this is not enjoyable at all, by the way. Alright, okay. so what is our quest object? We gotta rescue this chick? I guess so. Damsel in distress. Oh shit, look at that. Dude? It's that Jacoby Drexel hand guy again. Oh, looky there. Don't heal him. I mean, I know it did damage because he's undead, but don't heal him. Don't, I didn't mean to don't do, do that. negative damage and actually heal it. What are you doing? Yeah, you're let me, I didn't. let me just heal the bad guy real quick. I'm sorry. I literally didn't mean to. That's fine. I killed him. He's worthless. So, yeah. door here for the chest is actually locked. But I can pick doors. So now it's nice. unlocked. You can has chest. Thanks. Chest has. 
Oh no, the lady is on the way and I got stuck. Aww, uh, didn't get the good drop. There are three different things I can drop here. One of them is a shield clicky, which is actually, if you really think about it, an insanely strong item. And the fact that it comes here is, it, man, that's, that's, that's a weird thought. Anyways, we're done. You rescued her. I got shoes now. You got shoes? Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. I got shoes. I don't need anything else. Wait, when did you get shoes? That chest That's had... a really good question. I have zero clue, but I'm wearing shoes now. <laughs> that chest had gloves. I know you got shoes in a previous dungeon, but I don't think they also did anything for you. Probably not. I'm gonna... Should I exchange... Oh, I don't have to exchange anything. Alright. Huh. Sweet. You did a thing? I did. I didn't know gauntlets... And I definitely thought you couldn't wear gauntlets and gloves at the same time, which makes absolutely no sense, but... I mean, let's go. Yeah, honestly, uh... They're... They're, they called them gauntlets, but, like, they're really just bracers. Yeah. Oh, try not to slip, by the way. If you do, you have to run all the way back up. Ugh, that would be awful. Yes, it would. Oh, well. Way too long. I don't like rolling a one. That's annoying. Would you roll a one? And how, how can you see your rolls? So, um, if you actually do roll the die, then, not manually, right, but if you do something or something happens to you that causes you to need to roll the die for whatever effect, um, there'll actually be a little image of a die pop up. Um, hmm. I have mine set to be in the bottom right corner. I want to say it defaults somewhere around there but I, like, really shoved mine in the corner. Mm -hmm. And you can actually drag it around if you want. Funny thing is you can actually change its location even when it hasn't popped up because it only stays visual for a few moments. But mm -hmm. if you know where it is on your screen, you can actually drag it even when it's not quote-unquote, like, active, when it's not visualized. But mm -hmm. it might be difficult because you, you know, can't see it. But anywho, just like any other box or window, you can place it on your screen wherever you want to. And if you actually hit escape, go to your options, and go to I is it the is it UI settings? Uh, yes. And if you go to UI settings, um, one of the options is called combat dice, and you can actually change. Uh, which die shows up. There's a little drop down for it. It gives you a bunch of different oh. options. Hmm. I'm gonna do alien, because why not? I can mine set to onyx right now. It did look pretty cool. That was my second choice. Um, Alright. Follow the path of death to find you. That's... I also looked at the mini map, but also I followed the path Aww, of death. Aww, use the map. I did. I try to use my brain actually once in a while. It doesn't happen often. No, it really doesn't. Ouch. I mean, uh. Down into an no, wait, that's what I meant. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're not supposed to agree. Uh... Why am I in here alone? You might want to leave. Okay. Do I get a penalty for this? No, I'll reset the mission. Uh-huh. Right. I mean, otherwise you would, but the party leader can reset a dungeon if no one's inside it. And I say that 
because you walked in on normal. Oh. All right. Now I have it set to elite. Now you can come in. Elite. Let let us go. Because we're not normal players. We're elite players. That's right. I've been playing for fifteen years. I mean. <laughs> This is 15 years worth of experience. Yes. I mean, you're working on it. You're getting it. Yeah, this takes a minute, you know. Um. There you go. Yay! It really takes a minute for those to pop back up. For... What, your spells? Yeah. I mean, your best spell comes up every four seconds. That's not that long at all. They don't look capable of standing blows from your weapon. The cells in this room hold a number of desperate... Alright, do you want to save the villagers or fuck them? Save them, because we're good people, right? I mean... <laughs> You might be. Um, let me fucking heal myself first. Come on. You got him. I've got There you go. Yay. Keep in mind, your wand is not gonna scale in its power like your spells do, so... Yeah, it's just a little pew pew that I have. That yeah. I'm too lazy to wait for cooldown. The irony being I'm waiting. Okay. Alright. I'm back. Time to figure out this room's puzzle then if you want to free them. Oh no, bad guys. I heal myself first, apparently. Oh no, dead guys. Well, that was uh, way harder than. Uh... I killed them to death. Yeah, you did. Is this chest useful? I mean, if you got okay. better things from it, it would have been. But I can just sell it. Hey, look at that. How good? Y'all just chilling? Well, that's two. Yeah, we gotta go to the other side. And uh, there's three more over here. Yeah, I went ahead and talked to them. Once you Thanks. talk to one, it's basically the same thing with all of them. All right, now jump down into the water with me. Mm -hmm. There is a door here, but I can unlock it. Mm. And there's a chest here for more loot. Uh, so I'm gonna die. But... Nah, you're good. Just swim out. See, there you go. Not dead. Not dead. Yeah, just don't drown. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, great advice. Besides, it's not like you can't just heal it right back up. Mm -hmm. Alright. The implication of that being you should probably heal it right back up. Probably? So there's no real reason not to. That's kind of the thing. If you're not doing something else, you should probably always be healing unless everyone's at full health because why wouldn't you? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if you, you can... Don't... Never mind. Yeah, I... there's no way. You've fallen into their trap. Yes. Oh. Alright, kick their asses. Try not to die. 
Yeah, elite? Hell yeah. That's why you always stay healed. You literally said, you go champ! Yeah, you'll be fine. Oh, sure. Yeah, see, so you got one of them. Yeah. Just don't forget, some of your spells are stronger than others. Should probably, That's true. Should probably use the stronger one more often than the uh, weaker one. Probably. Another thing is, if you can hit the same guy, that might <laughs> be better than instead of damaging all of them, just killing one of them. Since yeah, then you'll get attacked true. less. I'm kind of cornered, so. See, you're getting it. I'm doing it. There you go. Yay! See? Handled the whole group on your own. I did it! I didn't think I could do that, but I did it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, now let's, mm -hmm. let's try the Super Mario again. Only this time, don't fuck it up. Eh? Okay, well, okay. You wanna give me attitude? You wanna, you wanna post up? I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'd win. <laughs> no. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not? Alright, why don't you post up to that guy? Yeah, see? I, I don't even think I hit him. I did. You, d you did hit him, though. You, you did, in fact, do damage. Your, your light beam hit him. I'd still win. Against me? Yeah, 100%. No doubt. Why am I not dead yet? I think I can hit you, Kyle. I don't know. Try it. I feel like I definitely would have already hit you at this point. But oh, that's... definitely. I've been standing in front of you half the time blocking things. Not always, but sometimes. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, okay. There is no friendly fire. You can fire with reckless abandon. You literally can't hurt your friends. You can hurt Never yourself, hurt. however, by falling, like, 50 feet down on okay. solid concrete pavement. You know, the sad thing is, is this is going to be the hardest thing for me. Oh, 100%. Absolutely. I... So, here's a little trick. What? You don't actually have to make the jump all the way. Watch me. If you're holding forward, you can grab onto the edge if you make it close. I, I don't know why she didn't grab. You moved backwards. Oh. Yeah, you gotta hold forward. That's you. Alright. Yeah, so you don't just jump at the edge, you basically run face first into it and jump into it and you like keep just shoving your face at it yeah there you go and then you yeah. can either tap forward again or keep holding it and then you'll climb up so you don't actually have to make the jump all the way if you can get close enough now this does not yeah. work on every jump puzzle because some mm -hmm. of them have a clear edge you can grab others are more sheer and you can't actually clamber up you give up Ladder. Oh, yeah, but that's to a different thing. That's okay. I killed the skeletal mage, and I got the chest. But you didn't, because you didn't get up here. So you get nothing, ha ha ha. I think the bad part is, is I'm totally cool with that. I'm just having a good time. Oh, fucking hell, spikes. <laughs> Where did they come from? Oh my god. <laughs> So what was that about I'm having so... a good time? Hmm? <laughs> I'm just so glad I was standing where I was standing whenever all of this started happening. Because <laughs> they just came up and I was like, oh. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's, 
Get out on an attic, maybe. Hmm, rogue. Okay. Alright, hold still, you. Holding still. That is a trade window. I found an item you might want. Please accept it. Oh, okay. Well, thank you. I accept your item. Um, I'm gonna get rid of something first, though. Oh, is your inventory full? Yes. <laughs> oh, uh, awkward. Yeah. Okay, what do I need lesser heart of wood for? <laughs> oh, uh, you should probably keep that. Okay. And by probably, I mean absolutely keep the heart of wood. Uh, very useful on the off okay. chance you need it. Um, Not really. I mean, that depends. What does the quarterstaff do? Does it make your spells stronger? Well, I don't know what it does, because it's gone then. Oh. Well, too late. It was probably the acid quarterstaff. I noticed one earlier. Oh, or you can trade the stuff to me. That that works too, I guess. It won't let me take it unless I give you things. You could also destroy it too. Mm. Or if you have a potion, you can drink it. Or if you have an empty gear slot, you can throw an item on. There you go. Thanks. I don't know why I couldn't figure out how to do that on my own, but... Let's go. Buttons are hard. Similarly to that necklace, that hat also can't be worn until level 3, but it actually has a, a good effect on it. Well, thank you. I appreciate what you have given me. It's okay. I got a whole lot more I'll give you one of these days. Not because I can just, like, hand you the stuff, but I'm sure stuff will drop later on. Mm. Once there's actually, um, stuff to farm for. Mmm, gear farming. Mmm, money. I was just breaking something. Oh, okay. I wanted to support you, so. Just like I'm gonna break this guy's face. God damn it. Right. Hey guys, y'all are good. I know you're tired, but get up and leave. You're not wanted here anymore. You're not what? Wanted here anymore. Uh, yeah. You're not good enough to be prisoners. No. Alright. And now it's time to talk to the person we actually came here to save. The mayor's daughter. We did it. Mm -hmm. We've done so many good things today. We really have. Alright. Uh, you don't have to finish out from this one. Oh. Or you can. Um, yeah, oops. that that rope thing you could actually talk to and just climb out. And fun fact, mm -hmm. this mission is actually one of a few unique ones where depending on the way you leave the mission actually determines where you spawn outside of it. If you finish oh, excuse me, if you finish out, you spawn back at the entrance. If you talk to the rope, you actually come to a uh, different location, which is where I am on the map. Don't bother coming to me, by the way. Um, we're done in this place for the moment. So nice. instead of hitting finish, the button says recall. Go ahead and go back to the village by recalling. It functions okay. the same way as finishing. It's just you don't really ever complete the wilderness area, so it just always says recall. I gotcha. I gotta kill this man. Well, kill him. Ooh, kill him. Kill him, girl. Okay, damn. I am coming. Give me one second. Damn, girl, you looking slayed. You looking fly as hell. That's what they say. Funky fresh. My guy. 
Okay. Book of Faith. Carrot of Cloak, Leather Cloak, and a Thought Spike. <laughs> yeah, you just you don't just uh want a thought spike sometimes. <laughs> Just sad that I think like a child. Why? What was in your head? Uh, T H O T spike. Oh, uh, I mean it could be. It really could be. I'm feeling like I should get the curative cloak because I'm clear it. So I'm you'll stuff, notice but... that you'll notice that that cloak has one out of one charges, so you can use it one time per rest period. So it is one more heal that won't scale with your stats, unlike your cure spell, which does and will. I guess I should go with the thought spike then. Well, you literally can't use it. Because so none of these things appeal to me. So um, I would just say right now, take the Featherfall Cloak. All right. Now, the Thought Spike is what is known as a Rune Arm. That is an Artificer-only item. Gotcha. Of which this guy right here actually is. Oh. You'll notice. Yeah. And see that little mm. thing on his offhand, his left hand, the thing that kind of does the spinny? Uh, that's first person. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Rune Arm. Oh. Cool. I mean, I, I like that they're pretty nice. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. It's just oh, his doge one. is the thing that we saw in the thing. Yep. I can see it animated now. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anywho. So here, whatever you pick up from the mayor, you'll notice that one of the descriptions of whichever item you get from him says that it is one of two pieces of a set, meaning in order to get that effect, you must have the other item in that set. You can still get the normal effects, but to get the bonus effect, you have to have both. Yeah. Mm hmm. So that is your introduction to set bonuses. Well, he's still pretty nice, I guess. It's just you have to find the other piece somewhere. To get the maximum benefit. Yeah. What do you um, recommend? Uh, I don't think it really matters, honestly. Um, oh. I want angry steps. <laughs> I'm just going to be walking around that all the time. I mean, honestly, you kind of already do that. I guess so. I mean, not anymore, though. I'm cured. You're cured? Cured okay. of stress. Aw, that's actually a good thing. Okay, so those anger steps are actually a super useful item. They are also a clicky, just like the Featherfall Cloak. So you can cast a spell from the item a few times a day. So the Featherfall Cloak casts the Featherfall spell. It only lasts for a few seconds, but it means that when you fall down for the duration of that buff, you fall slowly and won't take fall damage. This is great if you need to, like, jump off a cliff or something. Well, I have questions. <laughs> I got the Anger Boot, yes. but then I don't have the Anger Boot. What do you mean you don't have the Anger Boots? I, don't know, I guess my inventory was full, and so they just said, oh, you want these boots? No. Um, you know you have multiple oh. backpack slots, right? Yeah, I just figured that out. <laughs> there you go, kiddo. I'm gonna go sell some stuff. I'm gonna come with. You remember where the vendor is? Yeah. Do you? Oh, you're going to the tavern guy. You know there was another one that was closer, right? No. There was. Uh, is this like an I spy thing? Oh, oh, money over. The guy that literally says general vendor. What are you selling? Oh no. That's... I say I say a lot more video game quotes than I think I 
ever did. It's quite I'm popsicle. This one from Resident Evil 4. You've been talking a lot about Resident Evil 4 for a gal that mostly likes, what, the first and second one? Uh, no, I, well, yeah, I like the first one. Or I, no, wait, no, I'm, I'm thinking of your opinion on Devil May Cry. And Silent Hill, probably. And the second Devil May Cry was the, out of the original three, was the not so good one. What about Bloodstones? It sounds to me like crystallized money. You can just hit sell gems. Alright, I did that. Let's go. And did you make sure to actually sell all your stuff and not just put it in the bar? You got it. Did you make sure to actually hit the sell button? Yeah. Oh, you're probably fine then. Uh, you might also want to go to the repair tab, hit add all, and hit repair. That way all your stuff doesn't break. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. Unless you, nah, we're probably fine. It's not too big a deal. What is it? Nothing. All right. Uh -huh. Just you could probably spend an action point or two and equip a new spell, but. For what we're doing right now, it, it doesn't really matter. Normally, I would be like, do the thing. Mm -hmm. But it it literally, like, it, it won't really be much of a difference because I'm here to make sure it works. Anyways, yeah. so I talked to Big Dog, grab the quest, and then let's mm -hmm. head on out. Oh, yeah. And this will be the final quest, both of this area and for the night, because after this, uh... Sleep. Yeah. Food Even though meal. I just had a monster and I'm not tired at all. So. Oh. Oh yeah, also make sure you turn in this one. I don't to grab that one, it doesn't matter. Uh, well, sleep, good. And also, I need to get something else to eat and wind myself down for the night. And go to bed. Well... I can't sit here and talk all night. My throat's been bugging me enough as it is, and I've already been talking way more than I should. Oh, yeah. You know, even though I got you something earlier for that, I still didn't take that into consideration. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It, it helped a lot, but it didn't last all day. Yeah, for sure. I knew I should have gotten you some Ricolas. I'm okay. Um. Okay. Sacrifice these nuts. Okay. D's nuts. Uh, e. <laughs> There's a lot of boys. I mean, and now they're all dead boys. There were. But you see, they underestimated my, underestimated my ability to speak softly and carry a big stick. Mmm, yes. Large stick. Nice. Rat. Oh god, brown rat. Oh, it's dead now. Mm-hmm. You come across a makeshift camp. A scraggly dwarf sits on a log, trying in vain to keep warm. And then talk to Amalgam and grab the questicle. 
It, it has been grabbed. And you'll notice that there's way more snow accumulated here. Perhaps because we're it. getting closer to its lair. Hmm. A bone-chilling breeze emanates mm. from the mouth bone of Misery's chilling. peak. His bones. Not my bones. Mm hmm. Your bones. I wasn't prepared. Is anyone ever yeah, truly yeah. prepared Come. for their bones? If you want. Agent plans for us to serve as dragon bait while you strike. Please do not fail. Oi, you haven't gotten into any more shipwrecks, have you? I am heartened to see you still combating evil. But do be careful. I won't be able to protect you this time. Hmm, dialogue. Alright, talk mm. to Big Dog. Big Dog Mars. My dad has a family in Mars. Wait, what? Salimus. My dad has a friend named Lars. It's literally not important, but just reminded me of that. Good. Now to clear your path. Hayden clears the passageway for you. Now to find this quarry mine sunder artifact. Alright, go get him. Go get him. Let's get him. Mm, the dead shall rise. Hmm. Yeah, you're getting them. I'm just getting him. You just gotta keep hitting him. There you go. Yeah. Yay, he's dead. Now, you... Um... No, no, you're good. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'll just be over here. Um... Should I, uh... Should I... Should I not? I mean, you can handle those guys. I mean, I think so. Here, it's fine. I'll just, uh, clean house on my group. There were three zombies on me, like, literally, that old died. Uh, sorry, I didn't just get them. No, that's fine. I'll just hit them. Just the ones. That's all you need. Several humanoid figures surround a glowing pedestal. Their putrid forms are frozen in contorted poses. Their faces set in silent, eternal screams. Hmm, like that. You stand on it, and it shoots the little thingy out and turns it on, or off, or whatever. You just try to kill it by healing it. Oh, I tried. I didn't even want to press the heal button, but I did. It's gonna be a recurrent issue. Speaking of heal, you should probably heal yourself. Yeah, I probably should. Well, you're getting better at that. Yeah. See, look at that. Now you're not, you know, dead and dying and stuff. Yeah, you'd think that I'd get the point after a little bit. This monster is not helping anymore. It literally has already worn off. That's probably a good thing, because... Sleep. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I do have tomorrow off, so I could probably stay on the step a little bit later, but... I just don't want to. There's no point. This is true. Goodbye, zombies. Shut. You gotta deactivate it. Huh. There you go. Oh, yeah. Alright, you wanna go up, out, or around? Definitely up. Definitely up. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh, zombie. And, and cut it out. Um. Well, at least you're not hitting them with negative damage. Yeah, sadly you say that, but I, I did. When I was turned around. Yeah. Uh, whoops. Well, you only did it once. Mm-hmm. Lever pulled. Crystal activated. Hotel Trivago. Aw, please. <laughs> so, you remember those anger step boots you got? Yeah. Remember how I said they were a clicky and they held a spell? Well, you know yeah. how that Featherfall cloak holds a spell of Featherfall? Well, your anger yeah. step boots hold two charges of expeditious retreat, which make you run faster. Oh. So, if you equip the boots and then click on them or drag them down to your bar and click mm -hmm. on them, it'll cast that spell and you'll run faster for a few minutes. You can do that twice per quest slash rest. Oh. Now you're zooming. I'm zooming. I ran real fast. Excuse me, I didn't mean to have a seizure there. <laughs> it's okay. You get used to it. Uh oh. Tells me I don't want to. I don't know. I'm used to you having seizures now. Uh, I think it, uh. Wait. Uh... Waiting. No, no. It, it, I wasn't actually saying to wait. It's like, wait a second. <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, that didn't really come through very much at all. That good, good internet. Tricks of living in the country? With a question mark? Definitely a question mark. A very large one. If you could have capital exclamation points, or what would you call that? Capital... Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna leave that one alone. Anyways, let's look at this. The barrier's still up, and there's no thing around here to do it. Maybe it's elsewhere. Hmm. Oh, God. What did you do? I... <laughs> so, you know that button that I uh, said was on my... Mouse. Mouse, and it just makes me run? Yes. Well, let's just say I'm gonna die. <laughs> Because that was probably the absolute worst place I could have done that. It definitely wasn't a good one. Probably not, no. Of course, you did need to jump down here anyways to mm -hmm. unlock that barrier, so... Uh, so I guess it was good. Well, it would have been if you didn't leave before actually deactivating it. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell I'm tired? I can. You want me to turn it on? Yeah, because I have no idea where you are. Down here. I'm in okay. the spot where you fell down to. Oh, okay. I'm coming. Oh, I see you. Yeah. Hey. There you go. Woo! Ugh. Oh. Walls are, in fact, a thing, yes. Mm-hmm. I just get stuck on them sometimes. 
Imagine if you just got stuck on a wall in real life and you're just like, eh, I, I, I can't. It's like, please, please, God, kill me. That's no Spider's dead. That's better. Oh, and hey, look nice at that. Man. I leveled up. Neat. Hey, look at you. Where did okay, I don't know why that spider just ran out like that, but he did. <laughs> coward. He just ran away. Alright. He's a coward. So why don't you use that featherfall cloak of yours now? Uh cloak. Okay. That way you could just jump on down out of here. Without, you know, dying. Uh So you were supposed there... to, you were supposed to cast the spell from it. Oh, so. It... Yep. Oh. Yep. Well, I'm glad I know that now. You know. At least you survived. Oh, I'm good. I appreciate it, but I'm good. This quest could not kill me if it tried. Sometimes I just don't... Oh, I click in the thing again to get it to go. Alright. Now. We're good. Let's go. Um... Chills run down your spine as you finally come face to face with a dragon that has been terrorizing Korthos. Oh, hey, look, a dragon. Even at rest. A whole ass dragon, would you look at that? Do we kill it now? Yeah, at level two, you want to take on a dragon? Absolutely not. Correct answer. The door at the rear of the cavern pops open. Cultists attracted by the roar of combat rush out to confront you. I like how there was like a whole ass cutscene that played over there and you just didn't even like look at half of it. But I don't understand, that cutscene never popped up for me. No, no, not like a full on animated cutscene. I'm using the term colloquially. Like the, the oh. stuff that was happening with the dragon and our adventuring friends. Oh, rip. I missed it. Yeah, you saw part of it and then just kind of looked away. Like, oh, alright, well. I was like... <laughs> Whoops! I mean, I was like, okay, there's a dragon, I can't kill it. No use in me being here, right? I mean, that makes sense, except for the part where they were uh, distracting it and you can actually watch them kind of do it. Mm. It doesn't, like, matter. It doesn't, it doesn't. It really doesn't. It's neat, but it you don't like have to see it or anything. It's it's just neat. I'm gonna stop and rest, because I have zero. Yeah, you can rest. Yana. Close. There you go. Yeah, see, we're learning how to eat. We're learning how to e. I should be pretty good at eating, but and I'm running. Now you're too good at ring. Are you That's Kingdom true. Hearts one fans? Mm -hmm. Aaron is obtaining e. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts one. Why do I not understand that reference? Uh. 
you probably didn't hack or glitch out the game. Ah, uh, yes. I did not. Another heavy. Hopefully the switch is nearby. Too well done. The ground quavers. And you look down mm, to see quivering. the beneath the ice. Mm. The dragon roars as it thunders He's after Slimas and Jeeps and Talbron. The ruse is one. Another heavy door bars the way out. Once again, well, he, I mean, you almost got him. Almost. I've been trying to hit every single one of these guys, and it's just not working out, man. Remember, your spell works from range. You can shoot him from super far away. Yeah. Just aiming. That's why I just use the targeter instead mm -hmm. of free firing everything. Hey, you hit that one. I intend just the one guy. Just the one. But I still got him. But where is the second? Got him. I don't know how that lever was out of range, but okay. You feel fresh frozen air gust in from the newly opened door below. Don't forget when you rest, your buffs go away, so <laughs> you might want to activate those speed boots again. Sounds good, speed boots. And don't forget, the buff also only lasts so long, so even if you don't rest or die, it might just wear off because it is on a timer. For sure. But the boots have two charges, so you can just cast it again. Huh. Unless well, I guess you... this is my second one. Well, it resets when you rest. Mm. So both when you... Once you leave a completed dungeon, and whenever you use a rest try and you get your charges back. Because that's a recharging item. Not all items do. Normally it's wands that don't recharge. A few of them do, like the current wand you have does, but those are very rare, and they're normally weaker to compensate for the fact that they recharge. Oh yeah, that was like a that was like a boss. Was so difficult, you know. Yeah, it was a boss. Well, yeah, it was. It was something. I mean, I, I didn't really get a chance to see it, but I mean, it's dead now, so who cares? I'm gonna be honest, I'm like, getting tired and I totally zoned, and I, I like, kind of forgot, like, oh yeah, she hasn't seen that guy before. No, so I don't know, right, like, I'm, I'm there with you, I'm trying to maintain, like, the energy, but I'm failing. Nah, fuck it, I'm <laughs> tired. <laughs> I am too, come here, button. I can't believe that monster isn't working. Kind of crazy, actually. I think all it did was just make my stomach upset. Let's That's go. That's probably not a good thing. I'll just heal myself instead of doing something helpful. Apparently. Were you missing hit points? I was only paying like half attention. Uh, what was I do? I wasn't doing anything, actually. Hey, look, cutscene. Look, they even oh, have dialogue too. This must be the quarry. Oh, it's the Cthulhu dude! 
Well, it's not the same one, but it is a member of the same species, yes. Kind of cool. The Mind Flayer and Dragon are locked in a contest of wills. This could be your chance to destroy the Mind Sunder. That's your cue to destroy the Mind Sunder, by the way. This right here? Yeah, that thing. I don't think, uh... I don't think you so can... the thing that's yeah, literally yeah. like... Here, try deflecting. Try taking a things. step back. Maybe you just can't hit it with the spell because you're literally on top of it. So Maybe. the target are freaked out. Oh, no, never mind. It just phases through it. Okay, well, y I guess you'd have to hit it with something, but it might be faster if I do it. Let's try it. Oh, wow. He gone. Ice breathed him so hard he turned into like frozen glass, exploded and shattered everywhere. Follow me. Peyton wants a word with Hate you. to be him. Come on, Jeets, you tiny little dude. Next time you fight the dragon and I'll break the crystal. It will take hours to remove the fang marks from my armor. Well struck. Well struck. Well, well, well struck. Well struck. I wish we'd dispatched the dragon, but such a feat is beyond my abilities. Next, next time you fight the dragon. Next time you. Next time. Next, next time you fight the dragon. Are you doing that? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. No, sir. I was so confused. I was like, all right, Erica. Me. I wish we dispatched the dragon. Well, 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 well struck. I <laughs> hate that I found out how to do that. No. <laughs> All right, no. Let's talk to Lars. Lars, come here. Here, take this portal, so you won't have to walk back. Hey, look, a portal. Hey, look. <laughs> Oh, you didn't turn that one in earlier? Oops. I guess not. That's fine. It's technically a side quest. Oh, Strangely enough. Alright. So, did I get more angry things? More angry things? Yeah, I've got angry's gift now. Um, I mean, you can. I don't think the set bonus really does anything for you, though, since it's a bonus to attack rolls with weapons, which you don't use. But, again, it doesn't super matter. Um, I would look for the uh, one of the necklaces, if it gives you wisdom, should be, like, devoted or something like that. You could probably yeah, I get got that it. just for wisdom. Right. That way, if you get another point of wisdom from something else, it'll change your wisdom score to be even again, which will give you another modifier, which will then be actually useful. Uh -huh. This is true. Lots of wisdom. I just need tons. I need all the wisdom. You really do. Wisdom good. All right, uh, that's it for Corthos. Why does this, this dude's sword look so cool? I don't know. Why does this dude's bow look so cool? <laughs> Why is this level 23 coming over here? I mean, I get he's probably like... Okay, I don't, I don't know, Chief. I mean, I'm level 5, but still. Like, there's there's okay. limits. Alright. Alright, only thing left to do is... Sell all this worthless-ass piece of shit I don't need. Repair my stuff, and then it's time to go back to the ship and call it a day. Right. Yes, I would like to go to Stormreach. By the way, this particular guard here, if you are 
I know you can do it at levels 1, 2, and 3. I know it doesn't work at 5. I think you can still do it at 4, though. But he has technically a side quest. Basically, if you can pass a social skill check with him, you get like 500 XP and um, an item you can pick. Wait, it's, like a, so it's, a, it's like a random item, but still. Oh, well maybe we can do that next time. But, well, I mean, they're, literally all you do is talk to him, and you just either have enough um, skill points or you don't. And you're both not a charisma-based character and didn't invest in any of the social skills. So, uh... Probably not. Yeah, you can't. All right. But it's fine. It's nothing, like, game-changing. It's just neat if you can. It's nice. It's neat. That's about it. For sure. I mean, I appreciate it. I appreciate it existing. <laughs> I guess. Nothing. I was just checking something real quick. Okay. Alright, um, the only thing I would suggest is now that we're back, talk to the amenity bar to reset your buff timers. That way, instead of being at sub three hours, they're back to five hours, in case, yep. you know, you stay out for too long again. Okay. Ugh. Um, if you want, let's go to the cargo hold real quick. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go talk to the banker. Okay. And you can throw that heart of wood in the bank. Since that's not something you really need in your inventory, but it's still a very good item to ha have on you, and you do want to keep it. Hmm. So you can well, just toss it in there. Hang on, am I on the right thing? No, banker, not barkeep. Well, I'm pretty sure that's what I pressed. You... Yeah, I think I have to buy access to that. Uh, no, you get you get the bank by default. You can get access to more bank, but you do get a little bit of bank, no matter what. Hmm. Well, let's do. I just do. I just open my inventory and then do it like that. Uh, when you talk to the banker, it should open your um. If it didn't open your inventory, then yeah, you can't. I thought it... forget if it opened it automatically. Maybe it did? I don't know. If it didn't, just open your inventory and drag it over to the bank's space. I... I did that. That's just weird, but... Um, I'm just gonna slide everything that I can't actually use right now over there, because I'm not a big enough level, so there's really no reason for me to even have it. Right. Oh, I, I wouldn't worry about all that stuff. Uh, I, I did. The yeah. only thing I would put in the bank would be the thing that's, like, actually staying in there long term. All those things that you're, like, not a high enough level for, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you won't be missing that for very long. Gotcha. Like, all those things that are like, you have to be level 3, where you're already level, like, 2 in some amount. It's not going to be very long. Yeah. Um, so we could try to throw on your other spell. We could spend some action points, but... Nah, fuck it. Time for bed. <laughs> Sleep. Yes, I'm super duper sleepy. So, thank you everyone for watching this incessant monstrosity of a video. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus Christ, this, this was a... Goddamn mistake. It was the pain. Ugh. Honestly, it, it was more of the throat than anything. It was. Uh... Mm. The next time we play, it might have to be like, sweetheart, I love you, but like, I I'm not saying anything. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, yes. A video narrated by somebody who knows absolutely nothing about what they're doing. I think it'll make for an interesting thing. I mean, you don't have to narrate anything. Oh, I guess it's kind of hard for me to not talk, because you don't know enough about the game to be able to 
play it without me guiding you through things. Fuck. Okay. I would just well, literally follow you. I mean, you don't have to talk me through just, anything. Just I'll just walk behind me you. and be like, yeah, I'm sure that's sort of there. And if you're not attacking something, I'll know to kill it myself. Well. Uh, it's that. Pretty soon, I'm gonna have to start like actually fighting regardless of if you are or not. Because not every enemy is going to be so piss-easy weak that we can afford to just sit there and be like, eh, you'll figure it out. Like, enemies will get stronger, and I'll have to kill them, so. Yeah. But for now, let's let the throat of yours rest. Don't need, We don't need any bruised esophaguses around here now, do we? God, jeez. If only Daniel watched my content, dude. Ugh, Daniel. God bless him. What a jobber. Maybe next time. Eh, probably not. Nobody really watches my stuff. Yeah, that is true. No, absolutely no one does. Yep, I think so. I don't exist. It's okay. <laughs> I'm not actually here, guys. This is a simulation. You're free to wake up now. Dude. Imagine if you actually watched this video, even though you've, like, been fucking in it. That, that, that'd be a thing. Okay. Gross. You're not actually I gonna do know. that, are you? Right. Just for... to give you the views. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to watch this entire-ass thing just for a view. Like, if you enjoy it, I don't, it, I sure, promise. But... I was about to say, I really don't. I actually... Even if it's a thing that you Enjoy participated it, in. It's also a learning there. thing. So. I guess. Uh, no, probably not. If anything, like most of the time, I'll just like turn it on and then I'll fall asleep to it. N so. <laughs> I'm not actually watching it. I'm just... Farming a single view. Farming a singular view. This feels like an incredible waste of time. Well, I mean... For the one time I actually do that, probably. It's gonna be really awkward now, because that was like the whole reason I was recording all this shit. No, 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 that's not like what I was saying. I was saying that for this one alone, because I'm in it. That's what I mean. Well, you're gonna be in like all of these, so. No, oh, I mean... You have you do have views though. You have like twelve. You you have a following. Oh boy. All right. Hey hey Riff, if you're still watching this Riff, this one's for you, man. Yeah, you have a following. You have sixty nine followers. Don't forget that. Sixty nine. <laughs> Nine. Oh uh, yeah. Hey chat. As of this recording, sixty nine subscribers. So uh. You know, everyone who's everyone who's here in the future, when when we have uh, when I've got seventy subscribers, you can just look at them and say, "Yeah, I was a part of the first 69. That's true. Yeah. So you, you you all can just hold that over the seventieth and ups heads. Just fuck those guys. They weren't a part of the sixty nine. They ain't the OGs. All right, this, this has gone long enough. <laughs> Bye. So uh. Thanks, I guess. Look, nobody's here this far into the video. This thing's been going for literal fucking hours. Night! Yeah.